I don't know how to say this, but I do- No, I do know how to say this. Uh, I would rather a security breach happen on my PC as a result of me never updating Java ever again for the rest of my life than even click the update button one time. I, I would prefer to lose it all. I'd rather lose all of my money and everything I've ever owned than click update on a Java notification. Fuck you. Leave me alone forever. Never talk to me ever again. I hate you, Java. Why? Because somehow, despite everything I've ever done, uh, Java continues to pierce through my mixer and make noise, even though it's muted. It, every It's always muted, and it always makes a ding sound and shit, and it's like, I, I have system notifications off. You can't do that. But Java does it anyways. So, full disclosure, I am not 100% good. Matter of fact, I'm still dealing with a lot of pain and problems, but I'm good enough to stream, and I would like to stream. So I'm going to stream. Oh! Didn't you already play this game? Did you know that early access games have updates and therefore content is added to these games? And thus it's worth going back to these games after like a year of not playing it most of the time? I know man, it's wild. It's wild. It's crazy. What the heck? They're updating these games? I thought all early access games were just pieces of garbage people dumped onto Steam and then never came back to forever. I thought most were abandoned. This game's, uh, this game's, uh, it's basically Phasmophobia, but single player and a lot more, a little bit more of a slower approach to it, but it's got a lot of updates as well. It's got some new maps. It's got some, uh, fun new stuff. It seems pretty well polished now. It's not fully out yet, but I enjoyed it last time. It broke down a little bit and bugged at the end. Does Conrad still talk? Conrad is part of the iconic experience, and I appreciate it if you were a little bit nicer to Conrad. I appreciate if you were a little bit nicer to Conrad. Uh, Conrad has had a rough life. His entire family was murdered by Slimer. Murdered. No, no slime was found, but he knew. There was no slime. There was no slime on the premises during the murder. Slimer was careful to clean it. Slimer was caught, but then he was allowed to, he, 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 he was, he was found not guilty despite overwhelming evidence. He was allowed to walk free, or I guess float free away. Slimer was framed. He, it was a yeah, no, it was a loophole. It was a loophole. He got out. Apparently, you can't. Apparently, you can't. You can't like really send a ghost to jail. So they just every every single person in the jury was just kind of like, I don't really think this. Ma can I just go home? This has been a six week long trial, and I have a job and a life beyond this, and I need to like survive and do my shit. Like do my shit. And I think the jury just kind of gave up. Which is a goddamn shame. But the jury was ghosts. No, not in my not in my version of the story. What are you trying to hijack my I'm the storyteller? I'm the one weaving this tale! Stop railroading us. This ain't a DM. This isn't like a fucking like choose your own adventure. I'm telling a story. That's not railroading. That's a story. That's like you're getting mad every single time you flip the page on a book. Girl. 
this thing, uh, this thing's already all written, planned out. Spoiled by games with like morality options. You're just spoiled by like games with any kind of decision making. You've been spoiled. Choose your own adventure books. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. The illusion of choice. There was never an illusion. I would have opened it up right away at the beginning of the story. I would have told you there was no choice. There was never a choice. Ever. I was all... <laughs> the game was rigged from the start. Give me the green ending now. Is that a Mass Effect 3 reference or some shit? What the hell's the green ending? Is that the is that ma is that the mass? I didn't even finish Mass Effect three. <laughs> I like I stopped playing Mass Effect three like halfway through. I had like a bad feeling about something and I closed the game, and never went back. I think something else came out like the same time, and like I didn't dislike Mass Effect three, but I remember the last thing I did was like something on like the the. The Krogan? Is that them? The Krogan planet? I fought like a giant worm and then I stopped playing after that. That was like the last thing I did. Did you save the Krogan? I don't know. <laughs> I do not know. I, I don't know. I couldn't tell you. I, I really couldn't tell you. Let's just get so let's get a song that's a little bit chiller than this. Oh, now this is a song I can get behind while I wait to hunt down ghosts. But uh, yeah, no, I definitely don't remember uh helping or not helping the Krogan. I don't remember much about Mass Effect Three because, uh, and this might sound fucked up, that game was uh despite. It being a good game, quote unquote, the plot of it was wildly forgettable for me, which is why I didn't finish it. I really like Mass Effect 2. Uh, 3 didn't really have as many moments where I was like, that's fucking good shit. 2 sucks? You suck! You suck! That's right, I, I'm, I'm gonna double down! You made you made now you just made me really angry. Now you just pissed me off. I'm changing the song. The whistling's distracting me. Banned for shit opinion. It's just like it's just like there's a, there's some franchises where there's one game that is so much better than the others in the franchise that like if you say that one's bad, you're a sicko. You know what I mean? It's like if you look at Dragon Age and you say Origins is bad. It's like, you can't, that means you hate the whole franchise, right? You can't say Origins is bad. You can't say Origins is bad. If you hate Origins, you better be saying you hate Dragon Age. You know? Inquisition is bad. I couldn't get past like Act 1 of Inquisition. I fucking hated it. But I also couldn't get past Act 1 of, De like, Dragon Age 2, either. I- I was big on just Origins. Uh, the other games sucked to me. I truly hated them. I think it was that Dragon Age 2 burned me so hard that Inquisition basically had to be Origins again with zero issues whatsoever that I could notice, or I would hate it as well. Because I was burned 
so hard on Dragon Age 2 that Inquisition was, it was doomed from the start. There was never any chance for peace between our people. Ever. But maybe then, <laughs> maybe the next one will be good, Chad. Maybe the next one will be really good. <laughs> Bioware still got it, dude. <laughs> Let's go, Bioware. You guys still got it. You guys still got it. Don't listen to what any of them say. Let's go, Bioware. Let's go. Anthem didn't ruin anything, Bioware. You still got it? Anthem don't beat anything, Bioware. Andromeda was just a, it was a learning experience. You guys still got it? Let's go. Pass the copium around. No, I, I need it. No, this is mine. Why did I pre-order Anthem? Because the fucking predatory business practices of the market and industry uh, manipulated you into doing it. You got owned, unfortunately. You got played and there's nothing you could have done about it. I pre-ordered Evolve. Pre-ordering is, I eventually, eventually the idea of pre-ordering games will die off, like on the like the starter tier level, if that makes sense. And like, the only kind of pre-orders I can get doing ever are like collector's editions, where you're getting a fucking six hundred pound statue hauled to your house. Like that's the only time that I can imagine pre-ordering a game. Is if it's coming with like a, a like a fucking life-sized sword. If it's it, like if I'm gonna pre-order anything, it better come with Frostmourne, like the real one. It better if I swing Frostmourne, it better take someone's soul. At this point. It better be the real one. I got Assassin's Creed Origin, and all I got was a cheap plastic hidden blade. Dead! You can use that to be an assassin! Him blades were so cool, though. Yeah, but like, yeah, but like, the thing that kept fucking wigging me out about that after a while was that I I don't know I've seen characters in video games also use small knives and honestly the small knife probably has less risk of you accidentally piercing through your whole hand like I've been using I've been playing a lot of Shadow of War in my like free time that's been kind of like my game i've been playing through lately since i never played it after they took out like microtransactions and the game became like good again that guy kills a lot of people with a knife and like he doesn't need it to be attached to his wrist he just stabs people really hard like over and over and over again until they die and like the one thing i know about assassin's creed is that the fact that it was a hidden knife didn't matter because the stealth was so bad that usually you stabbed someone with the hidden knife and you had like a 15 minute conversation with them while time dilated around you and then about 50 people see you standing up over the bleeding corpse of like a character that you just jumped off of a two-story building to stab in front of a crowd of people and then they all start screaming and then you scamper into the woods and it's like at that point i could have used a claymore i could have used like a fucking zweihander to cleave this guy in twine it really wouldn't have fucking mattered like, like, the, the, 
The Assassin's Creed games had such a bean stealth until like Origins, basically. <laughs> like, I, say what you will about like the newer tier Assassin's Creed games, they tried harder on the stealth. I know that because I played every Assassin's Creed game. The earlier one stealth was so bad. <laughs> Unity had okay stealth. Yeah, but I couldn't go back to Unity after it didn't fucking work. Uh, like the first two weeks. Like, what the fuck was I gonna do with that game? Valhalla 2. Here's the thing. I loved Odyssey. I actually thought Odyssey was fucking awesome. I really liked Assassin's Creed Odyssey. But, I got my fill of it. I don't need to play Valhalla ever. I, I didn't play Origins either. Uh, I got my fill with Odyssey... And now I'll never play another Assassin's Creed game in that style ever again, probably. I got my fill. Odyssey was bloated AF. But you guys don't understand. When a game is bloated AF, you're not obligated to 100% it. I don't really, like, a lot of that stuff was so extremely side content. In a game like Elden Ring, you're somewhat obligated to go check out these things because lore and stuff expects you to do that. There are parts of the game that, like, expect you to go there for items. And stuff that may be required for you to like do things like you're always gonna feel like you're missing something in assassin's creed a lot of those side things are just like oh, i'm gonna get xp in a weapon it's like you don't need to go do that like the bloat's there yeah but i don't really count it as a like a negative when i didn't need to do any of it and i was quite happy just finishing the story and like playing a little bit extra if that makes sense I don't 100% games because I respect my free time. <laughs> uh, I don't... I don't think I've 100% a game since Infamous 2. And Asa No. Not Assassin's Creed. Uh, and, um... Arkham Asylum. I, I know I 100%ed Arkham Asylum. Uh, I got all those Riddler trophies. That was a time. There was a time. Do you respect your free time, but do you respect yourself? Aren't those the same thing? Isn't it the like the highest tier, like level of respecting yourself if you also respect your free time? I'm pretty sure those are the same thing. I guess, like, if you respect your free time, then, yeah, then you go play League or something. You don't respect yourself. But I respect my free time because I play good games in my free time. If I'm going to play games, I don't play shit games. So, like, I I'd say I respect myself. Name one good game. Hmm. Hmm. Hey. Hey. Was it Piss Game two days ago? Piss Game's fucking good. Dude, it's hard to argue that Urge is a good game. I think that game's actually, like, gonna end up being an awesome game when it's finished. Like, that's going to be an awesome game when it's finished. That's such a unique survival game. Like, they build that, that world out more. They add more, like, mechanics. And stuff, maybe make it make some stuff a little bit easier to like understand. Maybe make it easier to tell how polluted the world is, like without needing like a weird fucking thing on a wall, like a thermometer to check. I think there's a lot of ways they could make that game a lot better, very easily, and it's in early access. It's got time. That game slaps. I will not accept alternative opinions. Yeah, I would also say though that um. The, the base color, like, color correction of the game could use a bit of a hue swap to something a little bit more just natural light up until the point where the fog is really bad. Because it's kind of hard to tell. Because, like, it does change the fit. Like, the world gets more yellowy and stuff as the pollution gets worse. But I think it could use, like, an even more, like, natural, like, real greens and, like, stuff like that up until the point where, like, you're starting to pollute the map.
you know. They should add a thirst meter. Dude, the one thing I liked about Urge specifically was that it was a survival game that had like interesting survival bars that you had to care about rather than the miserable, I need water. I need water, dude. I have to drink water right now. I need to sleep, bro. Bro, please let me sleep. I think more survival games should isolate themselves entirely from food and hunger and like water meters. Even the hunger meter is even like really easy in urge because if you sleep your character's hunger goes back to full like i prefer that every day of the fucking week over another game telling me i need to eat food thirty thousand times in a row but you are just playing a robot then i'm not going to entertain this what you said i don't think you understand I'm not going to entertain this. That's bait. You're baiting me. I think there's been a lot of survival games at this point, and I think that it's fair to say that the ones that stand out are the ones that are starting to realize that people are getting sick of doing the same fucking thing in every single one of them. Four is two in three days, and we'll see if it does new stuff. I saw like the recent trailer for it. I'm genuinely interested. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna play it on Thursday. No doubt. I am excited. It's too bad it's gonna be early access, but I mean, so was the first game. I just wish, uh, I just wish it was, uh, I wish it wasn't fucking doing that. <laughs> I just know other, I, I can't really put that any other way. I, f I really wish they would just put out the whole game, even though I know that's not realistic most of the time for most developers nowadays. Thoughts on Atomic Heart? Uh, it looked okay. Minus the tr one of the trailers they did recently made the combat look so bad that it actually made me decide I wasn't going to play it on the spot. Gameplay now looks slightly better, but I've heard very mid things about it. Just like, and the only thing that really appeals to me about it personally is I like the art style and that's it. That's not enough to get me to play it. Because art style is just something, like for me, art style is cool. It's mainly something to look at while I enjoy the gameplay. And when I, like, looked at a review on YouTube for it, a lot of them are like, the gameplay is kind of the same forever. And, like, stuff like that. I'm like, that's not, that doesn't really appeal to me. Like, I, I need good gameplay in my game. It needs to play, like, a fun game as well. I've heard the devs aren't great people, but I'm not 100% sure. Then maybe you shouldn't be saying that. <laughs> then maybe ideally you shouldn't be saying that. I've heard the devs are fucking insane psychopaths, but I'm not 100% sure, dude. <laughs> then maybe don't say it. <laughs> I spread misinformation, dude, and then I say I don't really know. <laughs> I 
I heard Tomato is a psycho, and I'm 100% sure of it. Damn, dude, what the heck? Damn, dude. That's, uh, that's freaking BS, man. That's freaking wrong. But yeah, I don't think I'm going to play Atomic Heart. I don't really care about it. Uh, maybe if it was like on a massive sale, then that'd be a different story. But from what I've seen, not something that appeals to me for streaming or even playing it off stream. I have enough other stuff to do. It's on Game Pass. Yeah, but I'd have to use Microsoft's infrastructure to access. Chat, I would rather pay $70 than use Game Pass. That's how much I fucking loathe the Windows Store and all of Xbox's bullshit on my computer. I'd rather pay full price for a video game. It's bad, but it's not that bad. Agree to disagree. You're probably right. But the problem is, I'm a stubborn old man, and at this point, inconveniences, even in the most minor degree, are enough to make me so mad that I carry it far away from where I originally had the inconvenience. I'm not gonna let my day be ruined by Microsoft. I'm not gonna let it. Which is why I don't use Game Pass. <laughs> In before PC blue screens. Every day there's a fucking chance. Every day there's a what? Look, guys, all that really matters is that when my PC blue screens, the mods are gonna lock the doors to leave the stream, and you're gonna have to wait until it restarts and I come back, or you're gonna get in huge trouble. The mods open up the chat log and they watch to see if people leave. They watch to see if people leave. I have them take screenshots. They record the whole thing. They watch to see in the chat log if people leave, and then they take you down. Okay. But that's not going to happen because I'm not going to crash again. Oh, by the way, I uh I actually have I have event updates. I am I am officially Unless I decide not to in the future because the tickets are completely refundable for the hotel. Uh, I'm going to- I'm going to TwitchCon in Vegas. I will be going to that. I haven't gone on a trip to see friends in Eon, so I will be going there. So I'm going to TwitchCon in Vegas. You may see me. You're risking your life? I'm putting my life on the line. All right, despite the fact that I hate flying, I hate traveling, I hate every single part of it, I'm out there, I'm gonna put my life on the line. And my money on the line. <laughs> I'm going to, I swear to God, I will fully jump in every foam pit I see. Full weight into them. I will do whatever it takes. I will protect everyone from the safety flaws of the convention. I will test everything first, every game. I will test it first to make sure it won't kill anyone. Ever. I'm kind of like a hero. Hi, Tomato. Are you coming to my birthday party next year? You were invited to my last one, but you didn't show up. From Parasocial Andy 69 No, Andy, I won't be. Uh, because I ha I'm having a horrible accident that day. That's going to force me to not make it. 
Yeah, I'm getting hit by a car that day. I got it penciled in and everything. There's just no way I could reschedule that. What kind of car? A small one that's going relatively slow. But it's still going to twist my ankle and I'll have to go to the hospital. Okay? But I'll be out within two hours, but unfortunately by then it'll be too late to go to the party. A shame. But there's nothing we can do. At least send him a gift. I, uh, I'm not gonna have any money that day either. All my money's gonna get stolen that day. Alas, there's nothing we can do. What a day. What about the next day? Uh, the next day I won't be going because I'll need a day off from all the horrible mental strife of the day prior. I I'll need to rest. You know what I mean? I'll need to- I'll have to rest. What about next week? Uh, alright. I'm on all cards on the table. I don't want to go. I don't want to go to your freaking birthday party, okay? <laughs> That's right! I just don't want to go. I don't want to go to the birthday party. I'm busy. And even if I wasn't busy, I'd want to be spending my free time doing something like, I don't know, cool instead of cringe, like going to a birthday party. What am I, six? <laughs> he still says you're his BFF. That's the saddest thing I ever fucking heard in my life, but the name stays true. That is the most parasocial Andy that's ever lived. I won't be going to TwitchCon, but I'm soul bonded to Tomato, so I'll experience it. <laughs> Nasty. Absolutely vile. Just the worst. You are, you guys are freaks. You know that, right? So that means you're all gonna experience when I jump into the third foam pit? In the foam pit corner of the, uh, TwitchCon convention center and I shatter my tailbone? You guys are gonna, you guys are gonna be dialed in? Is there going to be a cross-country phenomenon, an anomaly, where thousands of people experience shattered tailbones somehow all at the same time? That'll be epic. Yes, very good. Very good. You think there's even- dude, you think they're not- they're not even gonna dare put a fucking foam pit at the next TwitchCon. They ain't gonna dare. There's gonna be a sign that says they, there's no foam allowed. Like, they're not gonna- they can't let another one in. They wouldn't dare. Maybe they'll do something like safer, like bull riding or something. <laughs> you know, like some like good rodeo stuff, you know what I mean? Like, that's gotta be fun. 
And besides, those animals are just absolute sweethearts. So, like, they're not gonna hurt a fly. It's Vegas, so probably a shooting range. <laughs> oh, that'd be... That, 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 that suck, and that's why it's, it's possible. Brother, that'd be you now, brother. Thank God. <laughs> ain't no, ain't nothing, a caged gorilla. Hold on a second here. What if they, like, what if they did something like a petting zoo? Oh, you know that's gonna backfire and some streamer's gonna get mauled. Oh, that wouldn't work either. Some streamer would get... I've, I, don't, I think streamers are more hated by animals than anyone else on the planet. I, I, every single... I, I swear to God. I've seen... Whenever I've been at like a convention or something, I've been walking down the street with friends who are streamers. I wasn't at the time. I was not a streamer. I've never been a streamer while I've been at a convention. That's more recent. Animals part the path in the city. If city animals, they don't part the path for anyone. They part the path for these goons. They don't want to be around them. Petting zoo would be pretty rad, though. Like, if you could, like, go and, like, pet a gorilla. I mean, maybe that one's a little too extreme. That I think, so, like, I think even if the streamers were absolutely loved by these animals, a gorilla would. The second a streamer tries to pet a gorilla, the gorilla would just turn around, and just pop their head off like a fucking, like a, like a. It, it just like look at the streamer and go like, and just like pop their head off, and then they explode. So that probably wouldn't be it. Would a gorilla even be fun to pet? Dude, if I had it assured, if the a gorilla assured me in a way that I could understand that it was very cool and not going to fucking destroy me, I assume hanging out with a gorilla in general would be pretty cool. Unfortunately, that's impossible for the gorilla to properly convey that to me in a way that doesn't make me feel like they're lying. So I don't think I would ever feel comfortable enough around a gorilla to chill and hang out with a gorilla. Sign language. I said a language I can understand, brother. American. Okay. Evolve now and tell me we can hang out. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah, I think the I think the petting zoo would be a bad idea. There's really nothing that they can do. Like the ball pit backfired so bad. I think that this TwitchCon might just be very sterilized. You know what I mean? Like there's not gonna be, or like the foam pit. There's not gonna be another thing. Like, there's not gonna be any like. I I think the one thing that this TwitchCon, this year of TwitchCon, needs to focus on is avoiding any situation where people's bodies are in actual danger. You know what I mean? Like these fucking floor, I need to walk into the convention center and see that the entire floor is foam. As in like, it's like the shit you'd see if you went to like a fucking like yoga room. Like that's basically the whole floor it needs to be that. And like padded walls too, cause God knows, I, what if I, I, it needs to be baby proofed. They just gotta go really hard in the opposite direction. Because they can't account for every single person in the convention center, every single, like, booth to follow safety guidelines. 
evidently, as we've seen. So they instead have to actually take matters into their own hands. <laughs> what about a TwitchCon buffet? That is how people get poisoned and die. That is absolutely the most psycho thing I could imagine. Open buffet! Open buffet! Twitch con potluck. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, I don't I don't think there's going to be any like crazy TwitchCon stuff of any kind. I mean, like here's the thing. Vegas, you don't need TwitchCon to do crazy stuff. If you walk 5 feet outside of the convention center, you can probably get mauled by a bear. Like cuz there's just one that they're selling like tickets to go pet a bear like on the street. So like I don't think you need like I don't know. I don't think TwitchCon needs to do anything crazy. Bears are friend-shaped, though. I, dude, that's not, that doesn't mean anything. You just said nothing, basically. I don't under, I don't even understand. All I know is that one, Hank is still out there. True, so true, so true. And now there's like that, there's that cocaine bear movie coming out, which is going to encourage all the bears to get into drugs. It's a bad influence on them. Bears are probably going to have a seriously bad, like, spike in behavior. They're going to get really nasty now because they're going to see a movie that enables them to be nasty. Okay, all I'm saying is that, all I'm saying is that there's a, there's going to be a cycle of the next year where bears are going to see that movie and, like, actually fucking think that they can pull that off. Tomatoes just mad there will be less coke for him. That ain't that ain't exactly. I don't I don't li I don't use that. I've never used uh I've never used any drugs in my life aside from ugh, and uh <laughs> that that wack that wacky weed you <laughs> that wacky weed guys that wacky weed dude you guys know what I mean? <laughs> yes. Just going absolutely crazy. <laughs> yeah. Pop a Benadryl? Dude, I can't pop Benadryls anymore, dude. I have to be on constant 24-hour <clears throat> antihistamines to stave off my chronic allergies. I can't take Benadryl on top of it. I haven't had a Benadryl in a thousand years. Because everyone knows the only real purpose of Benadryl is to totally get you totally zonked. I can't even do that anymore. The only purpose of Bandrill has always ever been to get you zonked as hell. Our ginger is prone to allergies. Sounds weak AF. I don't have an allergy. I have a chronic immune issue. Matter of fact, I have two chronic immune <laughs> issues. Matter of fact, my immune system, while it prevents me from getting sick with normal things, just seems to have a lot of problems it makes for me to keep me on my toes, is what I've kind of learned. Like, I don't get sick with many things, so the side effect is my immune system is like cracking its neck and going, well, I gotta wake him up. Well, I gotta do something. 
It's actually like a horrible disease sweeping through my household now as well. My, uh... My family, every single one of them has uh, been uh, th uh, just absolutely throwing up. Uh, they've been throwing up everywhere. Uh, it's I don't go upstairs. I don't I don't talk to them. They could all be dead. Uh, I hear the sounds of footsteps, so I assume they haven't died. But they're they're uh, they got there's a stomach bug up there now. And I'll tell you the one thing I don't need <laughs> right now <laughs> in my body is a stomach bug. <laughs> That's the one, the one thing I don't need is just something just kind of layered on top of my already not great uh, tummy trouble. God, buy a house. Chat, would you guys all be down to go outside and crash the housing market for me really quick? Would you guys be down to swing outside and just crash that for me? Cause then I'll buy, I'll buy like three houses. I'll buy like eight houses. But I'm not gonna buy a house that says it's worth, like, a hundred percent more than it was four years ago. I won't fucking do it. I won't fucking do it. <laughs> Unfortunately, uh, as a professional streamer, the idea of being at the mercy of a landlord with my job sounds like uh, the greatest anxiety I could take upon myself on this planet. So, uh, go ahead and get on out there and crash the housing market <laughs> in my, in Minecraft, just in case anyone tries to do anything that would be, I like considered illegal, uh, in Minecraft, do it in Minecraft. In my, in Minecraft, in Minecraft. LOL, the economy is fucked, and those in power are actively ruining the world. Smile. LOL, all caps. Why don't you just go live in a streamer house, dude? I appreciate and care deeply for all of my streamer friends that I know. I can stand them for about two days. I can stand them for about two days. Four if I'm lucky. The idea of being stuck in a house with them may be the worst idea of my entire life. That would... That would be the worst thing that could ever happen to me. That's not my speed, man. That's not, that's not my speed, man. I've got I've got boundaries and I have a thresh I have thresholds for what I can handle around other people. Even like my best friends in the world, I need like I need like a day to myself between like any two days of like exposure to another person. And the one thing when someone says streamer house, that implies constant exposure to their bullshit and jokes. All right. And I wouldn't wish constant exposure to my bullshit and jokes upon anyone. So I don't want them to wish it upon me. Okay. But the content. <laughs> but the content, dude. Please, dude. You never have to be offline again, dude. Your whole life would be streamed. Think about it, dude. Hook up your Twitch channel to the CCTV cameras. Please, dude. Truman Show, but real, please. Dude, 24-7, 24-7, never ending, never any rest, never, no, no rest, no peace.
sleep stream when? I'll be dead and buried before I- The only sleep stream you'll get is if someone- And I encourage you to- so If I bite it, stream my fucking wake, alright? Cash out for me. Stream it. Cash out? That's the only sleep stream you're gonna get! It's when I'm taking my final nap, alright? Eternal sleep stream. Think about all the donations I'm gonna get. Guys, we can set it up to one of those things where it's like, donate $50 to blast an air horn! Except, we'll just like leave out the part where I actually, this is my wake and I am dead. And it will make so much money. I mean, I won't make it, but I'll be a ghost and I'll be like fucking real, I'll be like having a good time, see how much we cash out. And all those people trying to wake me up. I'm not gonna. <laughs> I'm not fucking gonna. <laughs> Put a speaker in the coffin so text to speech plays after you're buried. Dude. That's badass. <laughs> oh, man. Use an AI to record your voice so it's accurate. It's gonna get there, dude. <clears throat> it's gonna get there. Auction your bones. No, I think the most I'm gonna do is uh, what I just described. I don't think I'm gonna auction off body parts of mine post my demise, my hypothetical demise. I think I'm gonna- No, no one's getting my teeth, you fucking nasty freaks! I'm not a- Yeah, I'm not a pinata! <laughs> I'm not-, I'm not what, what do you- What do you mean? What about the dump truck? Chat, please relax. Relax, please. You need to stay calm. The chair is gone. I had it, I actually like had it destroyed. That thing got thrown into a crusher and I watched it go. All right. I watched that thing. I took that thing to the dump and I threw it. I literally threw it into a compactor. And I watched it get destroyed. The whole thing, I watched. I made sure it got turned into a cube. The crusher operator had an Isildur moment. <laughs> you, you think somehow he stuck into the bottom of the crusher and took it out? I watched it get smushed! I watched it get smushed! The fires of Mordor took the chair! It's gone! It's gone. I saw it die. Did you record it? If you watch something with your own eyes, you don't need to also film it to then confirm to yourself that it happened. I just saw it happen. I don't care if you believe me, I saw it happen. It's gone. And in recording it, I would also be recording the ass print, and therefore, what would be the point of having destroyed it? Think with your head for a moment. Think. Man.
Chad is coping. Yeah, no, Chad's coping so fucking hard. The amount of cope that Chet experiences on a daily basis is, I would say, lethal. I would describe it as a lethal dose. I don't understand how they're still going. And yet we live! And yet we survive! I'm urging. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay, that one, that Chet member needs to relax. It's- it sucks that urge now comes with awful, awful, you know. Boy, 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 oh boy, now I'm seeing peepees again? Oh no. Oh, it's awful. <laughs> the connotations that come with the urge. Chat, I think I want to play the ghost game now. You guys need to be careful, though. It's a lot scarier than it was last time, I swear. I'm gonna have to tell you, it's strayed. It's way more spooky now. It's way more haunted. Matter of fact, it even comes with a little certificate that says, this is the name of your ghost that haunts the video game download. Mine's name is... is is Grumble. Mine's name is Grumble. It's not a good name. I thought it'd be like a person's name. It's Grumble. And it was a picture of like a little gecko. So I think my game is haunted by a spooky once alive gecko named Grumble. G name ghost Omega Lil. I can't do a name for a thing without someone saying first letter first letter is this Omega Lil. He did it He said the thing <laughs> He used the alphabet Omega Lil. All right Cutting the lights. I also might grab a little bit more coffee. Uh, I'm not using my cold brews anymore because they're out of stock. So I had to get the horrible equivalent of like, you know those gross ass like, Starbucks canned like, or like bottled coffee, which is like this super sugary, nasty bullshit. That was the fallback was like the equivalent of that. Was the fallback, which is not the same as canned cold brew. I'll tell you that much. There was a Costco recall for all of them. The cold brews, that's what I fucking assumed considering it wasn't there. They've always been in stock. So what was it like, did a rat fall into the vat or something? Cause you better, if it's just, if you're just gonna tell me it has a little bit of like microplastic in it, they should have sent it to me anyways. All right, They're, they better tell me that thing was fully tainted by like a corpse, okay? Or basically it would have still tasted just like coffee to me. Your chair fell into the vat. What are the- you know, that's the... That's the way it is. Life just gets so crazy sometimes. Alright, I actually am gonna grab another can of this nasty garbage. And then we're gonna start playing the game. And then we'll begin. BRB.
Never mind, I didn't grab it. I actually like picked up the can in the fridge and felt such hatred for it that I put it back. <laughs> I, I looked at it, I looked at the can, the, 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 the words on it, and I actively was like, I can't, I can't do it. It's so bad, I hate it. But I did grab this smoothie. Oh. It's got mango in it. I need more fruit in my diet. I need more fruits and vegetables and everything. And matter of fact, I would say I need more everything in my diet as of the last five days. As of since Wednesday, I have lost a lot of weight. I, I need everything in my diet right now is where I'm at. Fucking man, mango's so good, man. Sheesh. Sheesh, man. All right, Conrad Stevenson, you rascal. What the hell are you even up to today? Pirate Lappin, thanks for the five gifted subs. Oh, hang on, I gotta actually open the, my stream notifications because, um, yeah, I can't, um, can't freaking see him right now. I'm uh, I'm a washed up streamer. I uh, I forgot to open up all my things today because it's been three days and everyone knows if you haven't streamed in three days, you forget how to do it. Okay, I reopened it. Goolsy, thanks for the five gifted subs as well. Thanks. Thanks. Golly. Okay. <clears throat> all right. I don't... Okay, I'm hearing spooky sounds. Game's working. Paranormal P.I. Owned legally by Conrad Stevenson. Brace yourselves. Does Tomato mention what games he's going to stream in the Discord? Never. Never. It's a surprise. You have to click. It's the same reason I don't do it in, like, I, I mean, like, there's not really a reason I don't do it, actually. I'm just lazy. I'd love to say there's a reason. I'm just lazy. Uh, I don't, I don't list the games I'm playing, even, like, the ones I'm doing live at, in real time. That's the reason. That's why I don't post it on, like, Twitter. That's why I don't use that shit. Also, Twitter fucking sucks now. Then again, it always kind of did. It just sucks more now. Kiwi, thank you for the 10 gifted subs. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. All right. New game. Might as well go new. I don't think I actually finished the first level. I have been researching the paranormal for years. And over that time, I've established myself as a level-headed investigator. Oh, yeah? At first, I saw down a lot of my investigations, trying to help families and gain some experience in the process. Over time, I've been able to develop my brand and make some cash from social media and merchandise sales, allowing me <laughs> to- Most of his office. income has been from merch. I hope having a more professional presence will give me opportunities to investigate places that I wouldn't have been able to previously. I'm curious if I've gotten any new emails. I should check my PC. This voice snooze, dude. Conrad Stevenson's a real guy. You need to be nice. That's a real person you're talking about. He has like hopes and dreams. Yeah, well, I hate him. <laughs> Dude, I mean, okay. I, I don't know if hates. You need to relax, man. All right. All right, let's take a look around. I should grab my equipment in the back. Shut the fuck up, Conrad. I mean, I mean, I for one think that's a great idea, Conrad. Let's get back there and grab that shit. I need to look at the map on the wall to get an idea of where I'm going to be investigating. And that we shall, Conrad. I need my equipment to investigate. And that's why we're gonna get it. Post haste, Conrad. 
flashlight. Turn it on and off. Ding! This would be easier to like use if we had the lights off. Wow, it's kind of dark in here, guys. What the heck? Guys, this place is kind of haunted looking, actually. This is a 50 lumen flashlight. Yeah, no, chat, here's the thing. Uh, and I think this is something that more devs in these kinds of games need to fucking realize, like, genuinely. Flashlights are never this shitty. Like, like, like real flashlights that professionals use for flashlights. The flashlight I bought for, like, $20 to, like, ghost hunt someday uh, would blind me if I pointed it at my eyes. It would blind me. If I point, it would actually fully flashbang me. It's like a, it is truly a portable sun. Like, th 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 these flashlights are bullshit. And every game is guilty of doing it like that. It's like everyone designs their flashlights like they were made in like the fucking 80s. Instead of like what modern technology has done to bulbs. Yeah, my flashlight's 2 billion lumens. It actually vaporizes small bugs that fly in front of it. An HD full-spectrum camera with night vision. This ensures we are able to capture the most subtle materializations. That's not very subtle. That was the most visible fucking materialization I've ever seen in my entire life. That's a fucking... That is a massive ghost. Like, that's a ghost. That's not subtle. That's a creature. Whatever, it doesn't matter. Some investigators believe that darkness can enhance a ghost's abilities to manifest. Okay. <laughs> Activate green tint mode. Hang on, we have to check if it's actually real night vision or if it's like some bullshit. <laughs> it's, I'll tell you another thing. I have a night vision camera. Uh, this should be a lot brighter on the uh, camera side, on the screen. It should be a lot br a lot brighter. And this should be blinding me. I'm only, I'm only nitpicking this because uh, I literally own the equipment and I can't keep ignoring, I can't keep ignoring these problems. I can't keep ignoring these problems in these, in these kinds of games. I just can't. Hang on. The temperature sensor. A handheld sensor for detecting cold spots. After an investigator has found a cold spot and determined its boundary, they will update the notes in their investigation journal. I actually have this exact thing, but I don't use it. This isn't used for, like, ghost hunting. It's used for checking the fucking surface temperature of your goddamn, like, pan. <laughs> I use this for my pan in my kitchen. Uh, <laughs> it's not really a ghost tool. It's a laser thermometer. You're wrong. <laughs> You're using it wrong then. A meter for detecting elevated electromagnetic field levels. That, because every electronic device emits EMF, it's imperative to notice a location's devices and not jump to any conclusions. But I will say this. The only use of an EMF meter is to hunt ghosts. All right, I haven't found one use for mine outside of ghost hunting. Not one. I've walked around with it everywhere in my room. Can't figure out what the fuck good it is. Conrad does something right here only for ghosts. I use it in cooking. <laughs> yeah, I use this thing to, uh... I use this thing to heat up water really quickly. I toss it into a pot of, like, uh, simmering water and it boils it really fast. I swear it speeds up the heating process. Audio recorder. A common digital recorder. Unlike the industry standard, we do not leave this device on all night. Our investigators will turn on the recorder for five second intervals, otherwise known as, I don't have a micro S SD to put in this. I don't have an SD card I can put in this. We don't have any space. We have like two minutes of footage time. 
<laughs> Some ghostly sounds, such as distant bells or chimes, may not be captured with the recorder, but are obviously signs of paranormal activity. Obviously. How could... I mean, of course. Where else would chimes... What else would chimes be doing anywhere? Obviously. Investigators may choose to perform an electronic voice phenomenon, EVP session. In these sessions, they can ask the spirit specific questions, okay, while leaving the recorder on momentarily. Only five seconds. Only five seconds. Only five seconds. They will immediately play the audio back, determining if it is a disembodied voice. This type of evidence is more convincing than other paranormal noises because it is a direct interaction between investigator and ghost. Activate. Activate recording. I'm gonna just like do an EVP session in the toilet and make sure that I haven't been pooping in a haunted toilet this whole freaking time. Dude, that would be cringe. All right, hang on. I don't think I can do an EVP session in here. What? Oh. Is there anyone here who would like to speak with me? Is there anyone here who would like to speak with me? <laughs> Why here? Why are you here? Why are you here? Do you like the current family living here? Do you like the current family living here? Okay, good news chat. I don't think the toilet's freaking haunted. Hang on. Okay, we're good. Whoa, 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 whoa! These temperature fluctuations appear to be normal. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's cold in bathrooms. I forgot. I forgot toilets are cold. I thought we were about to get killed by a ghoul. Dude, that toilet is almost 66.6 .6 degrees Fahrenheit. Sus? <laughs> a little strange. Uh, a little strange. I wouldn't poop in that. I wouldn't poop in that. There's a Satan in that toilet. El Diablo himself. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna have to write this all down in my notes. I'm sure you guys understand. Uh, temperature data, frickin' chilly. EMF data, uh, n uh, hang on. Nothing. Nothing. Whoa! The light switch is haunted? The light switch is haunted. Oh my god. This is a ghost hole. This is where they hide inside the walls. Of course I would make my... Whoa! Coffee's haunted. I should have fucking known. That's why I didn't get any more. There was something off about it. Yeah, I knew it. Oh! 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 <laughs> Quick game. Get out of here. There's nothing safe for us here. Everything's haunted. It's all ghosts. Hang on. I gotta pop into the, uh... I gotta pop into my inbox. So I can see what I'm actually gonna be... Oh, I got mail. 
from Tammy Wentz at Evergreen Lane. Dear Conrad, dude, this character's fuck. This guy's goddamn computer layout is actually giving me like anxiety. Ugh. The mango is done. I've completed my I've completed my task. Dear Conrad, my family and I moved into our dream home on Evergreen Lane about a year ago. It's an old farmhouse without the rest of the farm property. The home has been renovated many times over the years, so it has a fresh and inviting feel. Unfortunately, however, my husband and I are convinced the home is haunted. I believe I was the first to experience anything supernatural. I began hearing odd sounds like footsteps coming from upstairs while I was home alone on the main floor. My husband would tell me I was just hearing things until he had an experience himself. He was in the garage a few months back and swears to have seen a man of average build suddenly appear. At first, he thought someone had broken into the garage, but when he made eye contact with him, he made a violent choking sound and vanished. Since then, my husband has been more sympathetic to my concerns. I'm writing this all down in my character's notes. Footsteps upstairs. Man appeared in garage. Choking sounds. <laughs> Average man. Choking sounds. Recently, we started catching glimpses of a shadow moving out of the corner of our eyes. Shadow moving around. <laughs> Once immediately after seeing the shadow, I heard a sinister disembodied voice. Shadow disembodied voice. Sinister. Our youngest children who share rooms state they have an imaginary friend who is a child about their age. Ghost of young child. Okay. We have also experienced kitchen items being thrown about. I ran out of notes on my note list. Uh, so, um... I don't think the, that that that's probably an imaginary friend. I don't think that's anything. I'm more concerned about the goddamn kitchen goblin. Sometimes we simply hear a ruckus from the kitchen, but other times there really is a mess to be cleaned up. On one occasion, a jam jar mysteriously shattered on the floor. I went to grab a broom to clean the mess, and when I turned back around, the mess had vanished, and everything was put back into place. Oh my god. The kitchen goblin is here. I never thought I'd find them. But they're really in the building. It doesn't seem like we're in any danger, but these events... No, Tammy, you don't understand. You're in incredible danger. Tammy, you need to get out of that house! Tammy, you need to get out of that house! All right. We have, we have it. There's no uncanny stench. Let me swap on into my archives. To ensure an investigation has the highest chance of success, it's best to do as much archival research as possible. Okay. So I get to review my, like, collected material from Evergreen. Oh, this is actual information from Evergreen Lane. Cool. All right, so here we have, uh... <clears throat> we have all the people that purchased, uh, Evergreen Lane in the, uh, last 20 years or so. 40 years. Bennett purchased and sold. Kramer purchased and defaulted. Everyone else sold it. All right. Dude, I don't have enough notes for all this. All right. Department of Inspections, First Bank of New Ireland, Stephen Angie Bennett, Bennett Contracting. I just a bunch of shit I don't fucking care about. It's just a bunch of shit I don't fucking care about. Auction, 2.30 p.m. Wednesday, May 10th. Furniture, furnishings, drapes, piano rugs, all other furnishings and sheets estate formerly belonged to Charles and Dor Dorothy Sheets, known as 100 Evergreen Lane, New Eidolon. Rest of this shit I can't fucking read. Yeah, I, don't, I just, uh, none of it matters to me. All right, wait. Basement egress to be sealed. Sealed? What are they sealing in the basement? What's down there? What's down there? 
Go- goblins? The Pharaoh. <laughs> you think they you think they sealed the Pharaoh down there? I mean maybe. Audio. I don't have any audio. Yeah, we don't have any audio. Wiki? Home. Welcome to the haunted new idol on Wiki. We have locations. Looks like there's the church on Spruce uh, Street, which is like a thing that I can't access. I don't think I'm allowed to. But that's cool. Good to know. Spirit Guide. That's a ghost. That's a ghost. That's a fucking ghost. And that's, uh, that's a demone. Demonology? I'm not reading that shit. Slime? <laughs> Everyone knows this is, uh, this is the Supernatural Logistics for Investigative Mechanisms and Equipment website. Uh, this is where we buy my hardware. Uh, my better hardware, like the EMF pod. And obviously if I wanted a good audio device, I'd get the Parabox. And if I wanted a real camera, I could buy the AutoCam for a thousand dollars. I can't afford that. Can I get a better flashlight? No. Dude, I'm just sitting here like... Flashlights. Power efficiency. Low. Light strength. Low. If the fucking flashlight is telling me that it has a weak strength, there should be one that has a high strength. Well, yeah, I mean, we can buy this fucking, like, laser pointer for $125 so we can, like, mess around with, like, cats and stuff. Like, really fucking piss them off by making them run to walls and shit. That'll be fun. But that's later. That'll be fun. Alright. I think it's time to get out there and solve some mysteries. Solve some ghost mysteries. Maybe have a ghost adventure. We're going to Evergreen Lane. Come on! It seems like the Wentz family isn't worried about their safety. They should be. Although it does seem like they're pretty startled when experiencing something they think is paranormal. Well, they fucking should be. I'm sure I'll be able to find enough evidence to support their claims and put their minds at ease. Here we are. The spooky house. First thing I want to do is do a stakeout of the area around the house. And make sure I'm not going to see any, like, halls, like, here, where, like, a goblin could crawl in. I would describe that as deeply important. We're also going to check in the, the windows of the basement. We want to keep an eye out for anything that would support my claims that their house is currently infested by, uh, kobolds, gremlins, goblins, gnolls, even. Uh, creatures like that. Which is why I'm gonna check the perimeter of the house. Oh! Oh, that's leaves. I thought that was blood. Alright, we're just gonna close that up. Nothing's in the trees. Alright, that's good. I'm not seeing any creatures in the fucking windows. Uh, it's... I'm glad there's no, like, neighbors or else that people would probably just think I'm trying to break into their house. Alright, chat. Well, uh, first things first, let's get to the kitchen and make a snack. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You know, that's, like, the fucking awesome thing about this job is a lot of people just leave food in the house for you. They don't really, uh, they don't really fucking care if you help yourself. The fridge is locked. There's a padlock on the fridge. They padlocked their fucking fridge. Oh, they left a, a sliced up tomato for me to eat. Thank you. Thank you. Fucking good. One sliced tomato. Cut into wedges. Although, from the looks of it, there's too much wedge? Like, that's two halves, and then there's still another two quarters. Uh, so I guess they also ate half of it. Half of one. 
So it might have just been something they accidentally left. Well, Did I become afraid of the dark? I should turn this light off. Shut the hell off, Khan. Shut up. Shut the hell up. What was that? Hello? Is there someone upstairs? Hello? Now I'll let you know one thing. Onion? Oh, oh. Oh, oh. First things first, always turn all the lights on when you go to a ghost house. Always turn all the lights on. We want the lights on. We don't want them off. We want them on. A lovely, like, second kitchen. Yo, this room kind of slaps. This, this spot kind of slaps. Get, like, a fucking door here, though. I wouldn't want like to have to see people coming up the stairs all the time while I'm hanging out in my fucking man cave. You know what I mean? I wouldn't want to see someone just fucking coming upstairs, do whatever the fuck they want. Is that my car? That's my car. All right. Uh, well, uh, where the hell's the lights? All right, well, this is, uh... Yo! Gamer setup, except they took the fucking PC tower when they let me come to the house. That's epic. And it, what looks to be a bed with no sheets. Or a mattress, like, cover or anything. Like, nothing at all. Just a lone mattress. And nothing else. They just need the mattress. I guess. Well, this is the place. Welcome, everyone. Uh, help yourselves to snacks. Um, the owners said it was okay to eat whatever we want. Any ghouls? Any ghouls? I don't actually believe in ghosts. I just, you know, we're just mainly doing this to make some quick money. These people pay up front. They, they don't even care about the results, really. But I'm going to check out that sealed room downstairs that they were talking about. Quick check of that, I think. Just to make sure there's nothing weird going on. Would like to make sure there's not like a. Oh, that's bl that's black mold, dude. You can't just hat. Oh. Oh oh oh. <laughs> oh, you can't just have that just there. All right. Well, what's this? This item is a valuable piece of information that will be added to the archival database on the PC in your office. It may also be auto automatically unlock additional related archival information. Okay. Deed of land, new Eidolon. So I own the house now. <laughs> they really fucked up. You can't just leave that on the counter. They fucked up. I own the- I have the deed. I have the literal deed to the house. <laughs> Sorry, lady. Looks like- Looks like this is my haunted house now. Dude, I walked up to this box and I pressed the button to loot it using Tarkov controls. <laughs> I walked up and pressed F. <laughs> to see if I can open it. Oh, cool workout equipment. And a spookily sealed hallway. Neato. Oh, cool. Barrels. All right. We've officially explored this place, so now it's time to hunt down the ghost. So first things first. T 
to take some pictures. Help me! Ah! Oh. Well, I, I took. Oh a wait, I got it. A ghost. Dude, this place is fucking hot as hell. I'm gonna put the deed back where I found it. Hang on. I'm gonna put that back. That guy just said, help me, and then I took a picture of him, and then he disappeared, and it wasn't even- The lights weren't even off. Ghosts aren't supposed to appear when the lights are on. That's the rules. This place high as hell. That guy probably got murdered. I put the deed back down. Dude, did you guys hear Conrad's reaction? Possibly more unsettling than the ghost appearing in general. He literally went, huh, I took a picture of a ghost. Wow. <laughs> well, at least we got the picture. That was really easy. Uh, let me write that down into my notepad article. <clears throat> the photographs taken during this investigation to play pro display profound evidence of paranormal activity at this location. We could go home. We don't need to do anything else. A fucking ghost appeared in front of me in the toilet and screamed, HELP ME! And then dematerialized. Job's done. Goodbye. Bye 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 Everyone say bye 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 ghost house. Bye bye. I guess it is a 12 hour drive back to civilization. At night. Through wolf infested forests. Maybe we, maybe we, maybe we spend the night here after all. Maybe we'll take our chances with the ghost. Okay, ghost, here's the situation. I already have a picture of you, so we don't need that anymore. But I do need to record a really bad temperature. There wasn't even any news of- there wasn't even any reports of a guy, like, needing help in the bathroom. That was, like, just a new thing. Whoa, 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 right in the doorframe. Right in the doorframe, getting temperature drops in the doorframe. These temperature fluctuations appear to be normal. Okay, fuck you, Conrad, then why are you telling me about it? Conrad, then why did you flag it as, like, such a dangerous, shocking thing? Strange. So how do you think this- why do you think this guy needed help? You think he like stubbed his toe- there's like this- oh yeah, I know what happened. Look at that right there. He fucking- I bet he stubbed his fucking toe on that awful thing right there. There's like a little like- this step? Oh yeah. I bet he slammed his fucking foot on that shit. And then he was screaming for help, and then I bet he was like, Ah! Oh, ah! Oh, help! Help! Oh, and they fell down the stairs. Boom, 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 boom. And like, cracked his neck open right here. And died. Which is why it's fucking cold down here. Which is why it's down to 63 degrees. Ah! Uh, dude! Dude, I'm telling you! What? It moved. I'm telling you, dude. There's a ghost fell down these fucking stairs, man. Do you think I'm playing around? There's a reason they- there's, there's a reason people call me. Alright? It's because I know what I'm fucking doing. Hello? Hello? Oh. 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 Hello? Did some freaking idiot that was probably wearing socks when they came to the stairs slip all the way down the hardwood stairs and break their fucking neck like a bozo? Hang on, I should probably ask using this. Why here? Why are you here? Answer the question. Why are you here?
Pathetic. They're scared of me. Hello? Is there a ghost inside the vacuum? There's gonna be one real picture of a ghost, and then a lot of pictures of, like, bullshit. Is what I'm gonna assume. Dude, I swear to God, I hear you moaning over here one more time. You better- it better be cold in this closet! Oh my god. It's 66. Point zero. Nothing paranormal about these temperatures. That's rooms. totally fucking average. Oh, enough of this fucking room. There's just moans. It's just moans. That doesn't mean as it goes, it just means the room moans. Oh, oh, oh. oh, oh. We don't want to go out there. That pl the outside? Super freaking haunted, man. You couldn't pay me money to go out there. Unless it was like a crisp hundred dollar bill. I would do it for that. Maybe I should cut the lights. Chat, let's do like a real ghost stakeout. If there's any ghosts in this toilet that want to tell me how they freaking actually die in a bathroom. You let me know. Cause like, that's not embarrassing. If like, you're mad about it, that's not embarrassing. Elvis died on the toilet. He was one of the greatest, uh, he, he, he was a, he wrote songs. <laughs> I know nothing about Elvis. I was going to say he was really epic, but I don't really know a lot about him. I just know his name. <laughs> J1, yeah. Does anyone want to, um, make another sound? Stupid dead ghost says what? Stupid idiot dead ghost says what? Hmm. Hmm. Uh, there's any ghost in here, you guys gotta tell me, okay? Is there a freaking actual specter in here? I heard wailing. I heard like a. Something weird's going on in this toilet chat. I mean, it's just like if they ask me to give them the results of this and I tell them just their main first floor toilet is cursed, what will they even do with that? Oh, it's freaking average temperature. In Whoa, 59.9! 69.9? Nothing paranormal. 69, 65. I can't read. Dude, that's getting low. That's getting low. That's awful. I. Whoa! Whoa, whoa, whoa. We will sit. Dude, I got you. I got a picture of you. I got two pictures of that guy. That guy needs help bad. <laughs> Any ghost who fell down the stairs and freaking died at the bottom after taking a huge dump, say what? Hang on, I'm gonna do it with the full thing. <clears throat> Is there, Is there anyone, anyone here? here who would like to speak with me? Is 
Is there anyone here who would like to speak with me? Joe, it only counts if you say it on the microphone. I can't, I can't put your help me onto the pictures. Okay? So if you really want my help, you're going to need to say it. You're going to need to say it in the EVP. You're going to need to say it in the EVP. Okay? Are you sealed inside? Are you, are you the Pharaoh sealed inside the tomb? If you're the Pharaoh sealed inside the tomb, uh, knock three times on the door. Oh, oh, oh my God, it's real. Then they'll buy that. Do you think they'll buy it? <laughs> Do you think they'll buy it? <laughs> that was me pressing. Do you think they'll buy it? They might buy it. They might believe that. <laughs> Can you tell me your name? What's your name? Bro, I believe that. Bro! No way, dude! Can you tell me your name? Gerald. Did you guys freaking hear that? Hang on, I can make this more believable. Can you tell me your name? Can you tell me your name? Yes. No, that doesn't work. That's too strong. Oh, I pressed the wrong one. Hang on. Is that one better? Ah, oh, it would have been this one. Fuck. We'll get him on the next one, folks. You goofed it. <laughs> Clean up on aisle five. Shut the fuck up. There's something strange going on in here. Still really, honestly, I'm more fixated on the temperature shit more so than anything. Whoa, this spot's cold. Is there a gas leak? Hmm, these temp readings are unusual. Oh? Huh? Oh my god. It's 62.9. Something is going on here. These temperature readings are definitely paranormal. There's... It got down to 59 degrees Fahrenheit. Now that's the spooky time. That's the spooky temperature. They must have sealed a ghost behind these boxes. There must be a freaking ghost back there. Hello? Fuck is it? God fucking damn it. Pull out the thing. Hello? Is there a ghost? Is there anything you'd like to tell me? Anyone? Is there anything you'd like to tell me? Dude, this ghost is playing hard to get. It's kind of pissing me off. They're taking a billion pictures of him, but like, I can't catch him doing one thing on microphone. Wait a minute, did he close me in the basement? Dude, I ain't about that. I didn't close the door behind me. What? Fucking weird. Chad, maybe we take a break from this part of the house. You know what I mean? Then again, I just heard wailing from in here. Hang on. 
If there's any freaking like children in here, juggle. Juggle. Juggle now. Start juggling the boxes. Juggle. Is there anything you'd like to tell me? Is there anything you'd like to tell me? <laughs> Nothing. Conrad can't get anything out of his EVP. <clears throat> Damn it. Well, that was all I had. But I have a plan, chat. A huge plan. I'm going to go back into the basement. And I'm going to get to the bottom of this. Using EMF technology. Found it. Easiest job of my goddamn life. What? These lights are acting funny. I should continue investigating. Something weird's going on with these lights. Something weird's going on. They're on. That's weird. They're turned on. They're projecting light. Hold up. This one here. The it's EMF meter should not behave this way. This is paranormal. Oh my god. These lights are freaking on. They're on. They're acting the same as they... They're acting like lights, to be frank. Now all I need is a ghost saying, Ah, oh, I'm dead! And I, I've got him dead to rights. I know a ghost just cut these lights. Now, if you come out... Hang on. Do you know why I'm here? The IRS? Do you work for the IRS? Do you know why I'm here? You hear get me? What was that sound? Did the goddamn air filtration just turn off? Guys, it's really cold in here. <clears throat> Is there anyone here who would like to speak with me? Hello? Is there anyone here who would like to speak with me? Hello? Oh! Oh my god! I did that again. Because ghosts aren't real. It's really quiet down here now, chat. Maybe if we cut all the lights, we can lure a ghost into making a sound. Wait, I can't get this one. This one's controlled by these... by the ghost. Huh? What? The thing turned back on. What's the temperature down here? Oh my god. 63.7. 8! Holy freaking heck. Is there someone throwing shit around? I swear to God. Wow, that's great audio evidence. <laughs> what do you mean? He's knocked something over. I can do that in my room. Dude, I can knock something over and call that great audio evidence. Hang on. Hmm. What do I have here that I can smack really hard? Okay, not much. God damn it. Okay, fine. Fine, maybe it is really good audio evidence. Hang on, I'm gonna try to, I'm gonna try to get some. Is there anyone here who would like to speak with me?
Is there anyone here who would like to speak with me? Uh, uh, <laughs> weird. It's still kinda... What the hell was that sound? <laughs> the heck? <laughs> this place is haunted as hell. What the? That was good audio evidence. We better keep our wits about us. Is there a living like presence? The current family living here? Do you like the current family living here? Uh, Mom won't let me play PS2 anymore. So, no. Oh my god. They died with unfinished business. They never... They never finished Dragon Ball Z Budokai Tenkaichi 2, most likely. A damn shame. What the hell? Can you tell me your name? Can you tell me your name? They must have passed on. They must have gone to a different room in the house or something. I can't find them here. I can't reach them here. Oh my god. How many people are here other than me? How many people are here other than me? Oh my god. They're not saying anything. They're giving me the silent treatment. No matter how many ghosts there may be in this room, I have to inform you I have a Googleplex of spiritual hunters outside in my van ready to descend upon this house. Oh, fuck! Is there anything you'd like to tell me? Is there anything you'd like to tell me? Hi. Chat? Those ghosts are acting like fucking rascals and they're not giving me any real evidence. Which means I'm gonna go into the garage where men have appeared. Okay. We're gonna check the garage. We haven't done that yet. Did I immediately hear fucking gruesome moaning from the garage? I swear to God. I thought I heard a sound. Is there anyone here who would like to speak with me? Hello? Is there anyone here who would like to speak with me? Anyone? I never get anything on EVPs. It's almost like they're bullshit. Damn, sometimes I just think this game's full of bullshit. Like, ghosts ain't real. I'm always so late on the draw. Dude, stop. <laughs> He's doing it as soon as it turns up. Is there anything you'd like to tell me? Is there anything you'd like to tell me? Hello? Nothing. Oh, but the second I move, they're going to do something again. This is an awfully... Oh. 
Is there anyone here who would like to speak with me? Is there anyone here? Is there anyone here who would like to speak with me? Really? Is this your home? I'm right, brother. <laughs> I love the garage. Is this your home? Love the garage. Best of home as any. This guy really won't fucking out himself. Are you fucking kidding me the second I put it away? Hello? All right, well, uh, I can see that one of your favorite possessions in this uh, garage is your wonderful trucks. So I'm just gonna open these garage doors and let leaves get all over them. Is that what you fucking want? I mean, let leaves get all over these things? Let the elements waft. Anyone Is there here? Anyone here who would like to speak with me? Is there anyone here who would like to speak with me? Is there away from my truck, brother? I swear I'll break you in here. Is this your tool desk? <laughs> That's, I said that like a guy who really doesn't know anything about uh, working in a garage. <laughs> Is this your desk of things that you'd use to work on a car? Why are you here? Why are you here? Anything? Dude, I just like they don't no one wants to talk to me. What the hell? Son of a bitch. Just like in real life. Toxic. I'm gonna close these doors again. And then I'm gonna turn the light back off. All right. Is there anything you'd like to tell me? Is there anything you'd like to tell me? Can you tell me your name? What's your name, man? I think I'm gonna die. <laughs> Can you tell me your name? Nothing? Nothing. Closing the other garage door. Again. I ain't leaving till I find myself a ghost. I just won't do it. I'm gonna park myself on this lawnmower. And I'm not leaving till a ghost comes out. 
Is there anything you'd like to tell me? Are there any ghosts that want to let me, let me know what's going on? Is there anything you'd like to tell me? Really? Chiming. The chiming. Do you like the current family living here? Do you like the current family living here? Ghosts aren't real. Go away. What? Huh? That doesn't make any sense, though. <laughs> you can't just say that. That's that's confusing. Answer the messages. What? Is there anything you'd like to tell me? Is there anything you'd like to tell me? Nothing. They got nothing. They have nothing. What the fuck? Oh. That was a sound. Thought I heard a door open. But that don't... That don't make any sense. What in tarnation was that sound? Is there anyone here who would like to speak with me? Is there anyone here who would like to speak with me? <laughs> wow. That sounded like a response. That is very interesting. <laughs> Just sir. <laughs> sir, get out of my house. Is this your home? Is this your home? Sorry I laughed. Is this your home? Is this your home? That's all I'm getting? All I got out of that was this fucking- It was literally this guy going- what was Quite literally just- Get out of my house! Get the fuck out of my house! And, and that's it? Like I gotta- Sir, leave! Sir, this is private property. Okay. Do you know why I'm here? <laughs> Anyways, I'm going to try again. Do you know why I'm here? Okay, I don't know if we get much more. Was that a moan? I think I heard the actual moan of a creature. Like a real creature. Alright, well, I'm gonna go back inside the uh, kitchen. Thought you saw the last of me, huh? Normal house ghosts? I'm back from the garage. Yeah, you guys fucking thought. Anyone here? Is there anyone here who would like to speak with me? Is there anyone here who would like to speak with me? 
Come on. Nothing. Fuck. Well, I, I mean, like we've got everything we need, like every evidence type. I think we, I think we're done here. And I mean, hell, we've had a ghost run up to me at three different points and scream at me for help. Like, and I have it all on film. I think we're done here. I mean, like, hell, the only thing this game could do that could still convince me that this place is, like, even more haunted than I believed before is if, like, the fucking, like, this exercise bike started going. If, like, the ghost started using the exercise bike. Like, something, like, really elaborate. It'd have to be something extremely elaborate. I think I'm ready to get out. Whoa! Is that the picture of a ding dang ghost? Get a picture of that. Yeah, I'm gonna get a really cinematic shot so the people think this place is super haunted. Oh yeah. That's haunted as all hell. That picture right there is going to get me millions. All right. Whoa, 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 we, whoa, whoa, woo. Incredible a photo of an entity. Help me! Is there anyone here who would like to speak with me? Sir? Sir? Is there anyone here who would like to speak with me? Dude! I know that guy was here. Did I, I guess I missed my chance to record it, but I mean, I got a recording of the guy going, sir. Like, I don't really... I don't really think I care too much about, like, capturing every- I got 18 different pictures of that ghost! Like, truly, 18 pictures. No- no one's recorded more pictures of a ghost than I have. I think we're done here. Like, I don't want to get haunted. And this ghost is kind of a one-trick ghost. It- it- all it's done is close doors, open doors, turn on lights, turn off lights, and then yell, help me. Damn it. So I'll be just gonna yell it one more time so I can get on recording. I mean I'll give him a I'll give him credit for one thing. They are an active entity. No juggling though. No juggling. Might as well check. Uh, Is there anything you'd like to tell me? Anything? Is there anything you'd like to tell me? Maybe the ghost is scared of bright lights? No. <laughs> no, I would argue this ghost has not cared much for the norms of what a ghost cares about according to like all of our normal understandings of ghosts whatsoever. They showed up while I was truly still prepping to uh, do stuff. Like, they just popped in. Right on. We got there. Ooh, that is eerie audio evidence. Dude, that ain't just eerie. You just, you just have him dead to rights out there. I think I'm done. I slammed the door on his face. He fell down the stairs. What was that? Oh, what the hell was that sound? There's something trying to break into the house. I don't know what the... You think they're going to believe that? Yeah, I'm going to tell them that there was something in the basement that was trying to smash through the sealed door. But I fought it off. I brought a crucifix. I brought the crucifix and salt. Whoa! Whoa! 
Wow, that's great audio evidence. <laughs> my dude's just over. <laughs> my guy is literally over here with like forks and spoons going like. Oh! Oh! Damn. That was some good work out there. That got. That was crazy. Oh! 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 Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> that one was real. That one wasn't me. Audio evidence. That one was real. There was a real sound of a real ghost in the room. Holy shit, I've never felt more alive. Uh, does anyone want to talk to me? Is there anything you'd like to tell me? Is there anything you'd like to tell me? Yeah. Okay, well, I mean, play along. You know what I mean? Like, play along for a fucking minute. Like, how many more times are you gonna have a ghost, like, person be able to talk to you? Like, play along. I've been looking at the thing, and it looks like my character is, like, getting through the process of, like, like, confirming all of the different things. So I think I need to stick around the kitchen longer to catch kitchen evidence specifically we need kitchen evidence which means i'm gonna cut my light and we're gonna sit here in the shadows as soon as i cut the outside lights there we go we're gonna sit here in the darkness and wait for noises How many people are here other than me? This is the saddest one because when you don't get an answer, it's so fucking sad. Like, it's just so sad. How many people are here other than me? No one even answers because you're alone, dude. You're fucking alone. Like, no one, even the ghosts don't want to hang out with you. None. Dude, all I really need for final evidence is a ghost to spike a glass of, like, so, like, any kind of, like, glass or, like, plate right into the back of my fucking head. Damn it! I got the tail end. He came out of the fucking ground? Ooh, that is eerie audio evidence. He just keeps saying, help me. Dude, I can't help you. Like, I think I'm not making more progress out of, like, the one out of five. So I might be done here. I think there's nothing I can do. It seems like what he wants me to do is like break open this fucking crypt. But I, dude, I literally can't. I don't know what to say. Like, I don't know if there's like a key on the map that I can use to open it, but I don't have it. Um, and even if I did, I don't think that would be acceptable behavior for me to do that. Like I might get like a, no, I don't think there's anything I can do. He's not getting the true ending. <clears throat> I would argue that if you became a ghost, you didn't get the true ending of your story. So I don't think I need to get a true ending on his behalf because it doesn't seem like he kind of probably phoned it in when he was alive. Uh, didn't get the right ending. Shame uh, for him. Hello. I got something. That was a very unusual noise. I'll keep that as evidence. <laughs> that was a very unusual noise. That's going in the book. That's going in my data. <laughs> oh, fuck! That was a very unusual noise. I'll keep that as evidence. The kitchen never makes noises when I'm in it. It's always when I'm not in it. It's always once I look away. Dude, I found the meta loop for this level. It's walk a, walk like a whole lap down to the basement, walk in here, 180, go back, upstairs, kitchen, bathroom, loop again.
Kitchen. Ba bathroom. Closet. Back out. Kitchen. Stand here for about a half a second. Loop around. The island. Record the moan. Go back downstairs. Ooh, that is eerie audio evidence. Go back downstairs. Loop down here. Back around the circle. Back upstairs. Back into the bathroom. Back into the closet. Check the vacuum. Nothing's happened. Go back around. Kitchen. Easy. That was a very unusual noise. Yeah, it was I fucking unusual, wasn't it? You get another one of those and we're done here. Loop back around. Basement. And loop. Oh, yeah. This ghost needs help. I'm not going to get him any, but I will record his pain. Do the loop. For cash. Yeah, I'll cash out on it. Go on. Make the last sound required for me to fill up my ghost compilation. Go ahead. Make the final sound so I can complete my ghost compilation. I'm glad that the second floor is useless. And actually doesn't impact the case at all. Whoa! What was that? I'm glad I captured it with a recorder. This kitchen cursed as if, man, cursed as if. This voice actor sounds like chills. <laughs> Damn, man, you think? Top 10 haunted kitchens, number nine. The kitchen of Evergreen Lane. This kitchen is known for its breaking plates and scary ambience. Help me! And spooky guy who yells, oh, help me. I'm glad I captured it with a recorder. Does anyone want to show themselves for the final part of my lap? Because I, I want to finish this with a glowing review. And unfortunately, I don't think this person's going to believe it if I tell them I only got like 20 pieces of evidence. They really need it to be 20 pieces of perfectly unique evidence. So if uh, we could get a couple more sounds of ghosts moaning. That'd be really cool. It said one out of eight for questions recording. Well, they're not gonna get everything they paid for, okay? Those ghosts haven't wanted to talk to me. Is there anyone, anyone here, here who would like to speak with me? Is there anyone here who would like to speak with me? I mean, I've, I've said help me like five times. I feel like you're not really listening to me. It's just kind of... wild it's wild some kind of draft or something <laughs> my brain is frying watching this this can't be what do you mean this ain't like that bad <laughs> what do you fucking mean this is this now this dream hurts you know what i mean gamers now when i see tomato playing this game oh it hurts
Can we gaslight the ghost into thinking he's alive? <laughs> that's that's like actually one of the most fucked up things I could imagine doing to a ghost if ghosts were real. Is gaslight them into thinking they were alive the whole time. Like imagine trying to gaslight a ghost into thinking they still have to pay taxes and their taxes are late. Yeah, Gerald, I'm just- Help me! Can you get some new fucking material? <laughs> Dude, that might be- I think that might be the most, like, fucking zoomer thing I could yell at a ghost is while they're screaming at me, I turn around because I'm so sick of the shit they've been doing all day. Get a new line, dude. I need you to- you're getting derivative. I need something new from you, Gerald. <laughs> Do another trick. Do another trick. Can you tell me your name? What's your name? Let's just get the guy's name. Let's try to get his name. Can you tell me your name? Nothing. I think I want to start cutting all the lights for this next part. Can you tell me your name? What's your fucking name, man? Can you tell me your name? Sir. 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 The only ghost that ever talked to me was Garage Ghost. This guy loves talking to me. Ooh, that is eerie audio oh. evidence. Go. Go. Oh! Ah! Oh! Oh! What was that? I'm glad I captured it with a recorder. Can you tell me your name? Hello? Can you tell me your name? Dude, I'm so sick of these guys making sounds. And then not talking when I ask them to. This must be kind of like working with like animal actors, you know what I mean? Like a like a dog actor. Like they like a lot of the time that dog probably doesn't do what they want him to do. Like eighteen thousand times in a row, and then they eventually finally do the one thing that they were expected to do for like the scene. It probably took them all fucking day to get that shot. Airbud, I bet Airbud was a fucking piece of work. The amount of times I bet they had to put like a microphone up to Airbud and make him say his goddamn lines in English for fucking once. It must have taken all goddamn day. Can you tell me your name? Can you tell me your name? <clears throat> what the fuck? What? Can you tell me your name? What the fuck? Can you tell me your name? No. <laughs> Damn it, tell. Can you tell me your name? Nothing. Dude. All you're going to give me is sir? I wonder if there is like hidden keys to open these other doors because why would they put them here if I couldn't open them? Like, that just feels like a weird inclusion of the game. DLC.
audio evidence. Wee! <laughs> Why are you here? Why are you here, man? Why are you here? Yo, I got some great audio of this ghost sobbing and crying. Do you want this? I, yeah, I got this great audio of a tormented spirit that won't stop sobbing. And I got this evidence here that says they've likely been sobbing for the last 80 years straight. Isn't that crazy? Anyways, pay me. Pay me my money. Pay me my money now. Me when I become a ghost sedge. <laughs> Me when I realize I am forced to live in torment on the mortal plane. Do you know why I'm here? Do you know why I'm here? Wow, that sounded like a response. That is very interesting. Yeah, you're here to talk over and over again. Never shut the fuck up! What you're here to do? <laughs> try and try to sleep in the back of my car. Why are you here? Why are you here? Nothing. How many people are here other than me? Answer the fucking question or I'm going to hassle you for the rest of your days. How many people are here other than me? <laughs> what am I? Where am I? <laughs> Who am I? Is this your home? Is this your home? You live like this. You live like this. Do you live like this? Can you tell me your name? What's your name? I'm gonna keep spamming these garages until this guy tells me his fucking name. <laughs> That's it. Can you tell I've me decided I'm hassling him. We ain't leaving. Wow. Wow. That sounded like a response. Private Connor? That is very interesting. Your name is fucking Private Connor? You want to try it again? Can you tell me your name? Yeah, I don't believe it. <laughs> Can you tell me your name? Because, like, it's weird, it's weird, man. It's weird because I have the deeds to the house, and it says you never went to the military, Connor. Connor, are you a stolen valor ghost? Connor, because I know you didn't go to the military. We have, like, this is the this is the future to you, okay? There are records. Like, we know you didn't go to the military. They asked you not to come to the military. They actually declined you. Dude, Connor, if you think a ghost can't get freaking canceled, you got another thing coming. Why are you here? You got another thing coming, Connor. I swear to God. Why are you here? You ever heard of Twit Longer, man? Ever heard of Twit Longer? You better get yourself associated with it, man, because you're going to need to fucking use that app. Do you know why I'm here? I think I already asked this one. Do you know why I'm here? <laughs> I'm here to cancel you. Yeah, I actually, what you see, what I do is uh, I'm a very unique ghost hunter. I hunt down ghosts whose ideals in life would not really work in modern times, and I cancel them over EVPs and spirit boxes. I ask them questions to lead them into a position where I can then out them as a uh, bigot, you know, anything like that. I, I really just get them out there, and then I get them canceled. I own them. <laughs> I own them. <laughs> I get out there. 
Conrad, the ghost canceler. <laughs> Is there anything you'd like to tell me? Is there anything you'd like to tell me? I think they fucked off. I think they're scared now. I think I scared them. Is this your home? You live like this? Is this your home? How many people are here? Answer the goddamn questions. Me. I ain't going away till you answer all eight of my questions, motherfucker. How many people are here other than me? <laughs> Damn you, Connor. Damn you. Well, I guess I can do the, I guess I can do what I was thinking about doing, which is go turn back on that radio and just really aggravate him. Oh my God. That's a freaking haunted hand, man. Why are you here? Why are you here? Don't you have friends? Don't you have friends? Don't you have something better to do on a freaking Monday night? I mean, maybe not. Why are you here? It's a Monday night. This always pisses off the ghost really bad. He turns it off and then I turn it back on again. See, look how angry it's making him. We're just going to keep ticking this thing on until he comes back out. I need to stress so much that this isn't like, this doesn't just automatically turn back off. He's turning it off because it makes him angry. And that's what I want. I want to, I want to rile him up so he yells something that is unacceptable by today's standards so I can record it. Well, if you're gonna fucking do that, make a sound when you do it. I got the tail end. No! Well, well. I'll just keep going. Can we get a redo on that, Connor? Can we get a redo on that, Connor? Connor? Connor, if you get if you want it to stop, you're gonna have to fucking kill me. And to do that, you're gonna have to make some noises and probably materialize long enough for me to also take a picture. That was pretty good, Connor, but it's not I'll enough. Keep that is audio evidence. In the fucking corner, Connor. You around here, Connor? This thing riles him up like nothing else, dude. Connor's gotta be mad. Is there anything you'd like to tell me? Come on out, Connor. Is there anything you'd like to tell me? <laughs> this guy's not doing anything, dude. What the fuck? Connor, how many times I gotta turn this thing on? Turn off the lights. Oh, that's not going to be enough to stop me, Connor. I'll have to materialize.
Come on. Show yourself. Connor, I'm about to key your fucking car. Show yourself. That's not it. Dude, that's like, that's like, you sound like a goddamn, like, sick murloc, okay? Come out and show yourself so I can take a picture of it and monetize it now. Come on now. Oh, oh. See, I knew, I told, that wasn't even a made up sound, Jet. That one I got on that recording earlier was fucking real. He's an alcoholic. You heard that? I'm afraid to put the like camera away to record audio because I know the second I do, he's gonna fucking materialize. And I'm gonna miss the picture. You know what I mean? Oh, Connor, you stupid idiot. <laughs> Show yourself already. Huh? Oh, did that make you mad, Connor? Oh, did that make you angry? Oh, did that piss you off a little bit, Connor? Who's haunting who at this point? I... I am the good guy. Okay? I'm the good guy. Connor! I don't know how long you can keep flickering that light, Connor. Come on, Connor. I mean, you're doing all this stuff, but like, also materialize long enough for me to take a picture. What even is that sound? D was that him going, why? Why? <laughs> Connor, because I'm trying to fucking cash out. Connor, because it's going to make me a lot of money. He wants wine because he's drunk. <laughs> this dude just can't help himself. Poor bastard. I just like, if I were this guy, <clears throat> the main character, Conrad, I would be like, oh, I'm done. Like, I have all the evidence, but the game's like, you need another 10. So I think I'm just going to leave soon and assume that like everything else is bonus points. And it's just like a contribute to how much money I'm going to make at the end. I don't have to do all this. If that makes sense. Because like, I don't think I'm going to get 10 fucking sources of audio for these characters. You're not supposed to fill them in one game. Okay. Yeah, then in that case, uh, Connor, it's been a pleasure. I have you recorded saying a lot of unacceptable stuff. Expect this garage to be torn down. All right? Because I don't think the owners of this fucking property are going to want a haunted, racist garage. Okay? So, your days are fucking numbered. Have a good one. Goodbye. Oh yeah, we pulled out a lot of XP on these fucking things. Holy shit. Holy shit. That's a level up, motherfucker. You're the one getting canceled. Are you fucking sure about that? I, I, don't, I don't think I did anything other than tell the truth and bring the truth to the people. Besides, last I checked, I own the deed to this fucking house. Last I checked, the deed to this house is mine. <laughs> Pull up Tomatoes tweets from 1859. <laughs> Let's all calm down.
Here we are. What's this? Oh, that's my like disclaimer. I took that picture. Wait, I actually did take that picture. That's one that I took. Cool. Let's grab all my hardware again. Check my email. Oh shit, so I've got Shadowy Screamer. That's what I named this fucking guy. I named this guy the Shadowy Screamer. Oh yeah. This is Shadowy Screamer. If you listen closely, you can actually hear the moment he's in absolute pain and agony from his shadowy scream. Hear that? Let's rerun that. Let's run that back one more time. Hang on, this is the ghost in the kitchen. <laughs> That's nothing! That's not- If you walked up to me and I hired you to check out my haunted house <laughs> and you labeled that ghost in the kitchen, I would kick you out. I tell you to leave. Dude, I got this real capture of audio of a ghost doing some really silly stuff. Listen to this. Like that would be more convincing because there was a moan in the middle. Like this is that's just stuff falling. Seems like a lot of my captures are Whoa! Okay, that was scarier. What about this one? That was Oh! Jesus Christ! Okay, now that one's kind of fucked up. Alright. Alright, the other ones. That one sounded like someone like, dude, the dev. Conrad, <laughs> I, I, I'm just gonna call the dev of this game Conrad. It's got it's him. It's Conrad. Conrad's the dev. He made this game about his real life, and these are all real experiences he had. In order to record this audio, Conrad had to actually smash like a chair. Like he had to smash it. I like the. It, it kind of subverts expectations because when you listen to it, the first part is like a. It kind of tees up, doesn't it? Hang on, listen to this. It goes like. Bup. And then it just goes crazy. That's a good one. Apparently I don't have track two or three. <laughs> this just sounds like someone was like, you know what this sounds like? This sounds like when you're in like concert band in like high school or middle school. And you hear the percussion section in the back drop something. It sounds like someone just dropped like a like like a like piece of percussion equipment onto the ground. Like one of like the sticks. Oh fuck. Like it's just, like that's exactly what it is. Someone dropped a mallet. It's like this kitchen was haunted by like an actual raccoon. Like that's what it is. It's just like a raccoon dumping stuff on the ground. Like that like who like the ghost of a cat? It's just someone dropping silverware on the ground, but like not from a high height. Shadowy screamer there. Listen to this guy. Do you hear that? Listen to it again. Let me turn up the volume. To maximum. He said, why? Did you hear that? He said, why? Let me slow that down for you. Demone. Track four. Let's give this one a listen. Hey, hi. Welcome. Welcome. Come in. Come into my home. Help me! Dude, 
dude, relax. Fucking Christ, where this is you're peeking the goddamn microphone, asshole. How about you have some consideration for the people that are actually gonna be listening to your bullshit later, man? Jeez. <clears throat> Dude, I have to turn this guy down so much, dude. I had to go into the Discord properties, turn this guy down to 5% Discord input volume. Dude, this dude needs to relax his microphone a little. He needs to turn down the gain. Yeah, Is this setting even fucking do anything? Yeah, okay, that's better. Hang on. Yeah, do these just sound like different... Audio? <clears throat> Chat, these don't even sound like the same take. Hang on. Those ain't the same fucking take. That is a different take. Those are two separate takes. That is a different- that is different. That is a haunted audio- that's a haunted soundbite. That's an actual haunted soundbite. Chat? That is a haunted fucking soundbite. The soundbite is haunted. Delete it. No one can have this one. This one is haunted. That's the shadowy fucking screamer. He must have haunted the audio equipment while we were recording him. He's in the building. G. I. Guz. What do you mean, G. I. Ghost? What do you mean, GI Ghost? General Infantry, Private Connor. I was thinking about it as like gastrointestinal ghost. Like this is like the ghost that like has like some pretty nasty like IBD. Cause you know, I can associate, I like that'd be a lot scarier to me. Cause it would imply that perhaps like, like it, it's like, that's horrifying. That's a scary ghost. <laughs> He's crying a lot more like he's got some kind of gastrointestinal problem than he does sound like a private from the military. I'll tell you that right now. Sounds a lot more like he's having some toilet trouble, if you know what I mean. That's a poop ghost. Post the bell. Post the bell. Post the bad day with the bell. Elvis, all caps. Oh my god. Wait. Chat. It's all coming together. There was so much fixation on the toilet in the building, into the basement. Could it be that this entire- Everything comes back to that bathroom. We need to get back to the building. The, the investigation isn't done. We have to go back. We didn't complete our work. We missed something. Going through the, going through the evidence, we may have missed something. Oh my god. Hang on, I want to see if they did multiple takes of the crying. <laughs> These are the same take. Okay. Is there anyone who would like to speak with me? Sir! <laughs> Sir! 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 Sir. 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 Is this your home? Family. What? Do you fucking say? Family. 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 Do I need that slowed down? Yeah, that's some bullshit right there. I don't even- I can't understand that. No speed difference. I think he's saying- I, I th Yeah, I think chat might be right. He might be saying airplane. Beyblade. Airplane. Beyblade. <laughs> airplane or Beyblade or maybe... Maybe methane?
Hmm. Bad day. Air raid. Ass pain. Oh no. Hang on, you might be onto something. Kinda does sound like ass pain. Oh no, what have we found? <laughs> I have to, you gotta tear down this fucking garage, lady. <laughs> not only is this ghost a documented racist, okay, I'm not even gonna give you those recordings because you don't want to hear them, all right? I was, even I was starting to, like, get a, get a little really uncomfortable. Matter of fact, really uncomfortable. A lot of those recordings really messed up. You don't want those. But what I will say is you should tear down this garage. This guy was never part of the military. That I can assure you. Hang on. Sir. 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 It sounds like sneezing. A chew. To sneeze. He's sneezing. Is that all I got? That's all we got. That was the last one. <laughs> then it's back to the fucking, like, raccoon ghost in the kitchen who's just shattering fucking glass. Oh! <laughs> I had to actually- Chad, I had to reach for the volume because I knew it's gonna be so fucking loud. I, like, dashed over to my mixer. <laughs> You can- you can hear the moment that the, uh, ghost picks up something to drop it, slips, and smashes their fucking head on the ground! You can hear it. Oh! <laughs> you can hear it. You can hear the sound when they fall and break their fucking leg. Anyways. Uh, that's all of them. We got the shadowy screamer, we had the GI ghost, and we got the ghost in the kitchen. And none of them, all right, ever once gave me anything actually helpful. Piece of shit, ghosts. All right, uh, I guess I'm gonna email that girl and tell her her place is haunted. How do I respond? Wait, do I- did I get paid already? Like, I don't have to tell them anything? William Carter Assault. We've got like- well, we own the deed to the land built in 1902. We got like more information about this place now. Which is cool. Fascinating. Fascinating. But I do not care about any of it. And I'm closing it. Can I buy things? From Slime. Fifty dollars? That's all I have? Dude, I can't even afford like a laser pointer for my cat. I can't even afford a laser pointer. How the hell am I supposed to get the auto cam, the only decent camera? Frick. Well, we got a new email from Polk Street. Conrad, I moved my family into our new house six months ago. Since then, they claim to have experienced strange things that they cannot explain. Seems like they're growing in the belief that our home is haunted. I personally have never experienced anything that makes me believe in ghosts, but my wife and kids have a laundry list of things they feel are paranormal. My wife says that she has heard sounds of crying in the living room, someone talking to themselves in the laundry area, and footsteps throughout the house. She also claims to have seen a person's shadow creeping along the hallway. <laughs> it's just like, come on, guys. Come on, guys. <laughs> yeah, like, the... Her husband is just a weirdo. What do you mean? He's... <laughs> this... The... Everyone needs to calm down. Ghosts aren't real. Hang on, I'm trying... I need to clear this and reset it. He's a freak. Just because he doesn't buy the hysterical reaction of everyone else he lives with and knows in his life. 
doesn't mean he's the freak. He's disrespecting his wife in all caps. Dude. All I'm saying is that if you walk up to me and you say, I've been hearing the sound of someone crying in the living room of my house that I also live in. I'd be like, I ain't been hearing that. And I got ears like a hawk. You sure you don't just have bad hearing? And you wouldn't believe it? No, I'd have to see a ghost slap me in the face. <laughs> Basically, that's the only way I'm buying it. There better be slime oozing from the walls, dude. <laughs> no way. No fucking way. <laughs> I'd have to I'd have to have a ghost actually kick me in like the balls and, and like hip throw me into a table for me to believe that they were real the entire time. Yeah, right. Uh, no way. Footsteps throughout, talking in laundry, shadow in hallway. My youngest child's bedroom is adjacent to the bathroom. Recently, he's woken up several times in the middle of the night saying that a boy in his room is scaring him. He's also mentioned that he's seen an elderly man lingering in the kitchen. Personally, I don't fucking believe any of this shit. When something falls off the shelf in my garage or I feel a sudden change in temperature, I chalk things up to more rational explanations. Like the moon wobbling and changing gravity in the room, therefore making things fall. And the tide shifting as a result of the moon wobbling which makes the temperature of the building shift very slightly. These things make sense. Make a lot more sense than ghosts. Falls from shelf and garage. Let me know if you're available to check out our home, Max Laurent. Okay. I choose not to let them know. I just go straight there without telling them I'm going to go there. Because that's, you know what I do best. Where the hell did it? Polk Street. Oh, this looks like a fucking really small place. It should be easy. Or is it? Oh, no. The Lorenz have a bit of contrast within their family about their home being haunted. It's interesting that Max is not convinced, yet the rest of his family is concerned. He also didn't provide any information stating he debunked their concerns. Sometimes skeptics just want to dispute everything. I'm sure I'll be able to find enough evidence to support their claims and put their minds at ease. This guy didn't buy ghost equipment to prove their claims wrong. LOL. LMAO. Skeptics get owned again. Huge L. Ew. What the f- Fuck, they need to, they didn't even bother cleaning the place before I got here. What the shit? You guys want me to do a fucking paranormal investigation living like this? The fucking lights don't even work. The lights literally don't work. Okay, Jesus. This place is haunted. Alright, I've seen enough. <laughs> I don't need to what this place. This place looks like a, oh my god, what is, what is this? this place, like the interior of this place actually makes me uncomfortable. What is the look they're going for? Antique and then uh, fucking 60 inch widescreen plasma TV. Like there's a fucking, like it's, there's wallpaper. There's like nasty, like actually nasty rugs. Ew. Oh, oh, you can smell this place. You actually can. I swear you can. It smells like old people. You know what I mean? That's I. That's all I can put it at. It smells like old. Like mildew. Kind of. No, that's got to be carpeting, chat. That can't be fucking cement. Are you kidding me? Have you lost your mind? You're going to tell me that's cement? No, yeah, right. Closets unhaunted. I'm hell, I'm just judging these people based off of their house right now more so than anything.
moisturizers. Ain't no one need that much moisturizer. Keep your skin dry and crusty. Alright? That's the way God intended it. This place sucks. Alright, well, I'm gonna keep my camera out for now because God knows whenever there's a ghost around, they uh, show up in the first 15 seconds and try to, like, actually slap me. So I'm just gonna keep the camera out. For now. Xbox! Dude! Xbox! An Xbox? Dude, fuck yeah, dude! We have a gamer! Oh yeah, well, I mean, I can definitely tell you one thing. This whole house is fucking haunted. Uh, no way it ain't. Truly no way. Okay, bathroom is, uh... Like, it's just a... This place... You down there? Well, give me a second. I'm not done doing my first sweep of the house, so don't do any bullshit yet. Need all the lights on while I do this, dude. Okay. Garage is, uh... Very spooky looking. Backyard. Backyard's looking, uh... Looking good. Fenced in. I mean, it's a nice, like, looking neighborhood. It's just the inside of this house. It's just kind of nasty. Inside of this house, kind of, like, nasty. You know what I mean? All right, let's go take a picture of that ghost downstairs. Any ghosts? Ah, <laughs> uh, hello. Ah, uh, hello. Okay, yeah, this is a haunted corner. Yeah. Okay. Okay. All right. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, uh, it's not a bad place. I mean, no, it's a bad place. It's not a bad place for a ghost investigation. You know what I mean? Ah, the ghosts will will take pictures of in here. Either way, I think first step is to get a temperature sweep. Oh my god, it's already haunted. Oh fuck, this place is haunted as hell. Holy shit, it's already down to 61.5. If it gets any lower than 61.5, we leave. Okay. That is haunted AF. Did the fucking air filter just turn off? This place is full of mold. If the air filter turned off, we're gonna die. Camera at the ready. <clears throat> is there anyone here? Did someone just cut the fucking oxygen? Uh, is there like, anyone oxygen? here who would like to speak with me? Is there anyone here who would like to speak with me? How about Jekus? Okay, it's back to 61.6. That's good. If it was 61.5, we'd be in fucking trouble. I'll tell you that right now. Start doing our job. Now, where do we want to begin our investigation? Slash me pulls out chair at K 
kitchen table and pulls out notepad. Now, where exactly, where exactly do we want to start here? Footsteps throughout. Okay, that's nothing. Talking in laundry. Where, now, where the hell's the laundry room? Oh my god! Was that anything? Damn it. I really- well, if I just do this long enough, eventually ghosts will get mad. Let it be known to anyone that's in this house. I don't plan on stopping until you tell me to. I could make this go faster if I bound one of the is there, is there a way to rebind buttons damn it jump scares off now who in the heck turned that off apply now who in the heck decided I didn't want to get jump scared I think that's a default setting I didn't even know there were options in this game for things turn it back off what are you scared <laughs> what are you scared or something Hey guys, we got someone you're scared of a couple of jump scares! Alright, I'm stopping, but only because I don't want to do it anymore. This place kind of creepily quiet. I don't know about all of you. This place kind of give me the heebie-jeebies. Kind of works me the f out. If there's any spirits inside this closet, tell me. Right. Now. Do you know why I'm here? <laughs> why, why you're in my closet? Do you know why I'm here? I don't understand. I'm, I, I'm actually like really confused. Is there anyone here who would like to speak with me? Okay. Is there anyone here who would like to speak with me? We're not getting anything out of this. Here's what we do. It's time to activate temperature detection job. We know how this works. We've done this. We've done this before. We... Oh. Is there a fucking spirit in here? See, what would be nice, though, is also for one of these paranormal games, like one of these hunting, these ghost hunting games, to also just incorporate places that are not fucking haunted. You know what I mean? Like, that's one thing these games never do. You always know the place is haunted. But why can't one of these levels, like, really not be haunted? Like, an actual dud. That would be boring. 
Well, I mean, if you if you instead can locate the reasons why those events are happening that are that seem like it's haunted, then that's a gameplay option. That's something to incorporate into the game to do that one time, like one time. Like you'll find the gas leak that's been poisoning the house with carbon monoxide for the last like, you know, like some, something like that, something horrible. You'll find out that there's been like asbestos in the fucking like insulation for the last like 80 years and no one noticed. That's kind of fun. In, a, in like a tragic kind of way. All right, it's time to begin the work. We need to hunt down the temperature shifts. This first step. Which means I think it's time to cut the lights. Even though that didn't matter in the last place. I think it's gonna matter now. 71, 72. Yeah, this place ain't nothing. Well, I, I'm gonna do a quick audio check here. Do you like the current family living here? Tomato has inspired me. I'm willing to work with like him to make a paranormal investigation game where you never find a ghost. <laughs> <laughs> the whole game you never find one is this a dud house no I think the other house is just too, very easy I think I need to cut all the lights and do all that, that kind of stuff which I've just not done I'm gonna do a temperature loop before I do anything oh I'm getting some weird temperature drops in this corner. It goes all the way down to- These temperature fluctuations appear to be normal. All right, never mind. Can't get them all. What's weird is that the temperature thing in this game is positioned on your character. Whereas, like, the actual tool is based off of where your crosshair would be normally. Remember, Chad, we gotta be careful. We have jump scares enabled now. This ghost is gonna fuck us up. Hmm, these temp readings are unusual. Something's going down the stairs. Something is going on here. These temperature readings are definitely paranormal. Oh, yeah. These temperature readings, paranormal AF, man. Hang on. Is, is there, there anyone, anyone here? here who would like to speak with me? Come on. Is there anyone here who would like to speak with me? No one ever wants to talk to me. <laughs> that's it. You know, that's the thing. No one wants to talk to me. Not even ghosts. Uh, damn fucking shame. Well, let's continue my temperature readings. So the stairwell is something. I think there's something to do with the kitchen. There's an old man in the kitchen. Oh my god. This EMF reader is going freaking crazy. What's happening here? Whoa, 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 what is this thing? While this is a high EMF level, it seems to be normal. Although they may want to call an electrician to ensure everything is wired correctly. Found it. Yep, this place is a fucking dud. Ghosts aren't real. Ghosts aren't real. There is no afterlife. All right, <laughs> ghosts aren't real. None of it's fucking real. I just proved it. I walked up to that thing. I turned it on. There, get an electrician. See you later. <sighs> That'll be $5,000. Pay me now. Oh. Hello? 
What the fuck did you just say to me? What did you just say? You old bag? Show yourself. I know you're an old ghost, which makes me doubly not afraid of you. They're turning on the heat. They're scared of me. Whoa. Oh my god. This place is an EMF hotspot. Oh. Oh, it just goes outside. Can I hassle neighbors? Is that an option? When does the game invisible wall me? Ah. Ah. All right, we've left the lights on this whole time. Come on chat. Let's turn all the lights off It's the only way we're gonna find out if ghosts are real This place is about to get a lot scarier Lights out Lights out No more lights ghosts hate lights What did I fucking tell you? What did I fucking tell you? Ghosts hate lights. What did I tell you? The second we cut it, things start acting weird. Something weird's going on in here. I know exactly how to lure the ghosts out. Damn it. These lights are acting funny. I should continue investigating. Yeah, I guess you freaking should. Time to cut the last of them. Kitchen. Cut. Garage. Is that a goddamn like jigsaw bike? Tricycles are bullshit now. Everyone just thinks of- I equate these fucking things with Jigsaw now. They're not for children. They're for little puppets to ride around corners in. Welcome to my garage. You caught me at a strange time. I was just about to make burgers on my grill. Oh. Ah! Sorry about that. Something fell. Let me get that. Oh. My dog's barking. There's a ghost in here. There's a real ghost in here. So this is where the old ghost lives. In the basement. Cut the last of these lights. We're not gonna need them anymore. There's an avocado. Yeah, my dog hates those. <laughs> they really do. Which is too bad because I love avocados. A lot of people equate avocados to like a food for like... Like, I don't know. Door I don't know, like hipsters? It's like a hipster food? I don't know. I fucking love avocados so freaking much, dude. I think they're so good. LA streamer food. They're so good. Avocados are so good. All right, this place is officially lights out. We still need a little bit more EMF data. I'm gonna commit to doing that unless like someone shows themselves, you know what I mean? I wanna finish the EMF. This, this kitchen is nothing. I think it's just that everything in there really dense is causing a problem. Now be- keep your wits about you, chat, because, I mean, if you don't remember... 
We do have a uh, jump scare setting turned on in the game now. So like, these ghosts aren't gonna be fucking around. There's really, really gonna be some crazy, crazy stuff that's gonna come around. We're about to get really owned. So far, these ghosts have been a lot more chill than the last ones, though, to be honest. Which is why it's luring me into a more of a false sense of security. Hang on, I'm gonna piss him off. <laughs> oh, fuck, I'm actually missing something. I think I made him mad. Oh well. Oh, that worked. Yep, that's absolutely paranormal activity on the EMF. You really just can't make this stuff up. The ghost is agitated by the sounds of a bugle. It's not a surprise. It's not a surprise. It's actually common knowledge. Yeah, right. Time to activate the most tedious part of it. Do any ghosts dare show themselves? <laughs> Spirits of the night, I summon thee. Spirits of the night, come out now. Are there any old bastards who died? in this house <laughs> that want to make themselves known let's put the uh, flashlight away for a minute use the night vision from our camera to guide us Was it you who made this nasty mess on the rug in the main living room? Is there some gross... old guy who made a horrible, horrible mess in the living room? Feels like it's best to just have the audio thing out and then swap to the camera if you're actually seeing something. I'm gonna ask him. I'm gonna ask a question. Is, Is there anyone, anyone here? here who would like to speak with me? Is there anyone here? Is there anyone here who would like to speak with me? Oh, what the hell? They're ignoring me. Is there anything you'd like to tell me? I'm asking for compliments here, really. More than anything, just any input at all. Is there anything you'd like to tell me? I'm getting nothing out of that. I heard a moan. That's the second time I've heard a ghostly wail. Hello? Whatever it is, it sounds like it's coming closer. Oh! Was there someone at the fucking window? There's someone outside the house! I don't know how to get outside the house. So the jump scares really just mean jump scare sounds. 
<laughs> like there's no visual. I just heard the sound of like the jump scare. Boom. And that was it. That's all I got. Maybe there's a reason jump scares are off by default in this game because they're not really, uh, they're kind of a goof. Let's give it one more chance to do something before we turn it off. I'm still getting, where are these coming from? It's gotta be one of these two rooms. Oh yeah, it's the fucking turlet. All right, no one's leaving until I get my audio evidence, so here we go. Is there anyone here? Is there anyone here who would like to speak with me? Is there anyone here who would like to speak with me? Yeah, chat's right. We bill by the hour on this, so it's kind of it's kind of the ghost's fault that we're gonna be giving these guys a big bill for uh, this place. These guys are taking a while to show themselves. Uh, is there anyone here? Is there anyone here who would like to speak with me? Anyone? Is there anyone here who would like to speak with me? Is there not supposed to be a spooky child in this room with the Xbox? Xbox? Isn't there supposed to be one here with the with the gamer console? There's supposed to be a lad here. What the fuck was that? Why did you just fucking call me? That's extraordinary audio evidence. I thought so I thought I just heard someone call me heavy. We're gonna have to catch that on audio recordings later. We're gonna have to go back through that. Yo, you can't just call someone that. You can't just... You can't just call someone that. You're gonna get cancelled. You know, I've cancelled ghosts for less. Anyone here? Is there anyone here who would like to speak with me? Nothing. Is there anyone here who would like to speak with Nothing. me? Nothing. What's the point of even listening? All right. I'm just going to hang out here and play on my Xbox until, uh, until I guess the sun comes up since no ghosts are going to show themselves. Wow, that's great audio evidence. I didn't fucking do anything. What do you mean? What did I just record? Chad, the guy just said that was great audio evidence. I don't know what I recorded. I just I accidentally pressed the button. Damn, that's some good static. What the heck? Hell yeah. Anyone Is here? Is there anyone here who would like to speak with me? Is there anyone here who would like to speak with me? All right, here's the situation, kid. If you don't say something right now in this room, I'm gonna start deleting files off your memory card, I swear to God. And then I'm gonna take this magnet, I pull out a big magnet, and I'm gonna rub it on the console until it stops working. Okay, so you better tell me something I wanna hear, okay? Oh, this console's dead. Do you understand? Is there anything you'd like to tell me? Is there anything you'd like to tell me? Dude, fucking please, dude, please don't fucking do that, dude. Please, man. Just... 
I do it. I do it anyways. I immediately, like, toss a battery, like a fucking magnet right on it. I want to get them mad so that they'll get agitated. I'm going to get them agitated and I'm going to record it. Can you tell me your name? Yeah, what's your name? Can you tell me your name? <laughs> Dude, get over it. You're already dead. None of this matters. Why are you here? Why are you here? I was trying to buy V Bucks. Oh my God! Wait, he was trying to buy V Bucks. Huh? Yo, it's like a new ghost. That's boring as hell. I don't care about this one. We're looking for old vintage ghosts, the ones people actually care about. Not this new shit. Where the hell's the old ones? The old creepy ones! I'm looking for ghosts that really make me, like, uncomfortable. Is this your nasty rag? <laughs> ghosts? Did you hear that? Did you fucking hear that? <laughs> we have to stay ever vigilant on this map. What the hell did that ghost just say? Yeah. What did he say? He said some old shit to me. He said like a he, he like he just talked like an old guy. Is there anyone here who would like to speak with me? He says something about casino. <laughs> Is there anyone here who would like to speak with me? Dude, you can't act like I didn't fucking hear that. Come on. Can you tell me your name? What's your name, man? Can you tell me your name? I heard you, Gussie. Then you are truly unsavable, okay? Then you are truly lost, Chatlet. Then you're truly lost. Why did you read it? Because some people deserve to be outed publicly. Some people deserve it. What is with <laughs> the streamers reading removed messages? <laughs> what? Is there anything you'd like to tell me? Hello? Hello? Is there anything you'd like to tell me? Hello? What was that? I'm glad I captured it with a recorder. Oh my god. You can tell the difference between like a young spry ghost, like the one that needed help very badly in the other place and we wouldn't give him any, and like these old ghosts that like just don't fucking do anything.
Is there anyone here who would like to speak with me? <laughs> Yo, uh... <laughs> Yo, um... Now I know you're here. <laughs> you can't... Is there anyone here you really who would can't like fake to speak it. with me? Dude! Can't even open the door now. Oh, there we go. Do you like the current family living here? Uh, hello? Anyone? Do you like the current family living here? Dude, this old ghost is pissing me the fuck off. Like, I better get a picture of this guy soon. Could take a lot of pictures, you know what I Hello? Is there anyone here who would like to speak with me? Hello? Is there like a, is there, you here now? Is there anyone here who would like to speak with me? For ghosts that are sure turning on and off a lot of lights, they don't have a lot to fucking say. Why are you here? Yeah, just why are you here at this point? Let's start breaking this down a little bit more vaguely. Why are you here? He died without his hearing aid. Oh no. You think? Can you tell me your name? What's your name, man? There are no ghosts here. You're right, this is all electrical anomalies. Can you tell That's me all. your name? Dude. This is the exact fucking floorboard that this ghost keeps stepping on. I'm gonna ask him his name right fucking Can here. You tell me your name? He's been here like 18 times. Can you tell me your name? This dude's pissing me off. Now it's starting to piss me off. Oh, for a second I thought Jigsaw had left. I, I was like really worried. He's still in the house, guys. We're safe for now. Is there Is there anyone here? You can't like keep acting like you're not here. I know you're in this room. I know you're here. All right, that's it. Is there anyone? If they don't here answer, I'm gonna take. Like I'm gonna get drastic. All right. Slash me locks the door. Slash me locks the door, bars the door. So if any ghosts leave, it's fail RP. What's your name? Can you tell me your name? Can you tell me your name? Is there anything you'd like to tell me? Oh my God, this guy's really starting to make me bad. That's a minus one. Is there anything you'd like to tell me? That's a minus two. Is there anyone here who would like to speak with me? Is there anyone here who would like to speak with me? Minus three. Now minus three. Do you know why I'm here? Do you know why I'm here?
Minus four. All right. I op I unlock the door in RP. I like walk outside. Ain't no fucking way. The second I walked away, they started making moaning sounds. All right, I'm gonna treat this like a stealth game. I'm gonna crouch behind this corner with the lights off and peer around the door frame and wait for the ghost to walk in to do something. And I'm gonna record them when they do it. Because evidently this ghost does not like me. It doesn't want to be caught like on camera or on recording. So I'm just gonna hide and wait for them. That guy's RPing in the neighbor's place again. Stop. <laughs> I'm freaking bored. Maybe I have to like pick up things. You know, the other map had like stuff I had to like loot. Maybe I gotta do that again. Maybe I've been missing part of the game. You know? Maybe that's the real problem. I have to loot items. Finally, someone made a realistic ghost game. Dude. They have a freaking PS5 too in this place, man. This place is epic as hell, man. Now, if only a ghost would show up and try to kill me. Did someone leave bread in the toaster? That is such a tragedy. I ignore moans now. We don't listen to moans. If you want to get my attention, you're going to have to do more than moan. All right. I'm going to need a, I'm going to need more impressive, like paranormal activity than that. Mm. Nothing. But it's whatever it is. It's gotta be. I keep hearing it in the fucking basement. But also simultaneously outside. Fuck. Wrong thing. I heard like a creature. They sounded fucking old. Alright, if no one makes any moves soon, I'm gonna start smashing your priceless urns and artifacts. Whatever it takes. I'll use this hammer to do it. I will. I'm not- I'm not playing around. I will destroy your favorite things, your memories. Oh, did they make you mad? Can What's you your tell name? Me your name? How about you tell me your name? Can you tell me your name? I'm gonna dunk these vinyls in the fucking toilet. <laughs> if you don't make yourself known, I swear I will. I will start grabbing them and dunking them in the toilet. Whatever. What was that? Wanna say that again? Idiot ghost says what? Idiot ghost says what? That never works. God 
Damn it, they're up at the kitchen. Camera mode activate. This might be the most elusive ghost I've ever encountered in all of my years of playing this like this video game, which is two sessions. Maybe this house is not haunted. You think I'm actually at the wrong address? You think that's what this is about? What if I'm like supposed to be at the house next door? Golly, I don't want to be jump scared right now. I don't know what I'd freaking do if a ghost just leapt out and tried to get me. Is that a drawing of a ghost? Like the old man ghost? And that's literally a drawing of a ghost. Wow, that's just might be the only sighting we get. We guess we should take a picture of that then. Because God knows we're not going to get a picture of any other ones. Because uh, these ghosts just don't want to don't wanna do it. It counts. Maybe we have to adopt the stakeout tactic. Chat. Which means... Uh, elderly man in kitchen... Falls from shelf and garage. We just need to hang out in the kitchen and garage for a long time. We're getting tricked into leaving over and over again. When what we should do is stand like this in the corner and wait. Because eventually this ghost is going to slip the fuck up. The question is, do we want to try to get the kitchen? Okay, I mean, we have a perfect shot of the goddamn kitchen. Nope, not listening. Nope, not reacting. You gonna play this game? We'll play this game. We're just gonna watch this door frame for an elderly man to show himself in the camera and then bam I'll take a picture of it I'm not listening to the sounds of the doors opening because it doesn't matter everyone just watch and learn this ghost is gonna get owned. Don't listen to that. That's the ghost trying to trick us into leaving again. We're not gonna be fooled. Don't listen to the chimes either. Those don't mean anything. That ghost can try as many times as he wants. I know it's not real. They're gonna fucking drop the ball and then we're gonna be there. That doesn't mean anything. Don't listen to it. I mean, we all know the place is haunted. We just can't get these right. Can you tell me your name? What is your name? Can you tell me your name? Kimmy. Yours. 
What's mine? Wow, that sounded like a response. Yo, you don't, you don't fucking get it that easy, all right? Well, this is some Zoomer kid gonna dox me if I tell him that. I ain't telling him that. Don't tell him shit. Why are you here? Why are you here? I'm not giving him anything. Why are you here? Do you like the current family living here? Do you like the current family living here? Dude, they fucked off. <laughs> they fucked off. Is there anyone here who would like to speak with me? They fucked off. They said one thing they fucked off. Is there anyone here who would like to speak with me? Bro. What? Was that a goblin? Wow. That sounded like a response. That is very interesting. Is there anything you'd like to tell me? I'm here. It's me. The, go the goblin of the vent. Is you'd like to tell me? It is I. Okay, they're done. Do you know why I'm here? Do you know why I'm here? It's the light. This light's pissing him off. Can you tell me your name? What's your name? Because otherwise I have to call you Xbox Ghost in the in the files. So you need to give me your name. It's going to be Xbox Ghost otherwise. Name? You do not want to be Gamer Ghost. Please give me something. Why are you here? Please. Why are you here? God damn it. They're gone. It's like actual clockwork. I turn off the light in the hallway. The creature of the vents turns it back on. Is there anything you'd like to tell me? Yeah. Tell me what, tell me, tell me anything you want. Is there anything you'd like to tell me? You know, this will be a lot easier if I could record for longer than five seconds at a time. Can you tell me your name? Can you tell me your name? God damn it, there's never a ghost here. This place has an abundance of paranormal activity, but I can't get any of it visualized. I bet the guy who fucking cooked in this kitchen sucked at it anyways. Let's try to see if I can add you Do it again, pussy. Do it again, pussy. Scared of squaring up? Seems to me like you're scared. Can you tell me your name? What's your fucking name, man? 
Can you tell me your name? Isn't your name? God damn it. God damn it. And I still have no visual of any ghost. And that closet just keeps opening. And the fucking Zoomer ghost fucked off too. Can you tell me your name? Why can't I make the ghost mad? That was so easy in Phasmophobia, you just called the ghost a fucking idiot. <laughs> Can you tell me your name? And then they come out and they give you every piece of evidence you'd ever need when they try to strangle you. It's like the welts on my body from a ghost beating the shit out of me because I fucking picked on them is undisputable. That's undisputable evidence. Is there anyone here who would like to speak with me? Let's get something out of this, man. Is there anyone here who would like to speak with me? I'll try to sit in the chair. Can you tell me your name? I'm gonna sit in the chair, I'm gonna ask it again. Can you tell me your name? Okay, well I have I have a tool of agitation now. The fuck you just say to me? The fuck did you just say to me? You don't mean that. Is there anyone here who would like to speak with me? Is there anyone here who would like to speak with me? They said they hated me. Can you tell me your name? Why would they say that to me? Can you tell me your name? And now they fucked off again. I'm gonna ask it here. By the shoes. Do you know why I'm here? Come on, man. Do you know why I'm here? I'm 80% sure they said Waluigi. They said I hate you. I don't think it was that hard to catch. Chad, you guys can't be like, he said, he said, uh, it was, I hate you. It was very clear. Dude, I closed the garage door because I wanted it to not be open in case it was fucking up the spawn of like the ghost. Because this is a video game after all. The ghosts aren't real. So like... But they keep... Oh, they've reopened the door. I'm gonna do a new thing where I... Oh yeah, that's what I'm thinking. So similar to the other level, this piano is the interactable that makes the ghosts mad. But I think pressing it once is better than spamming it. Is there anything you'd like to tell me? Totally someone in here. Is there anything you'd like to tell me? Playing hard to get, but I'm gonna get him. Are you fucking kidding me? Don't do that again. All right. All right. Huh? 
Can you tell me your Come name? Come on, let's get something here. Come on, give me, I just need some audio response. Just give me something. Can you tell me your name? Why are you here? Why are you here? Chris, my fucking house, dude. Can you just go away? Go away. Go away. I'm afraid I can't do that. I'm afraid I can't do that. That didn't even count. I wasn't recording it right. We're going to have to run that again. We're dealing with a hostile spirit, yeah. I'm, I'm worried for our safety. The spirit's hostile. Why are you here? Come on. Come on. Come on, man. Why are you here? <laughs> we just need, technically all we actually need is a photo, but we're never gonna get one. Tenny Lay got one. Wow, that's great audio. Tenny Lay got one at the tail end. Some old bag. That was totally casino. Do you think we have a gambling ghost? Ah, I gotta get back to the roulette table. Love me. I can turn this 20 into a 200. You just gotta trust a little. You gotta trust in the odds. You can't lose forever, that's the rules. Is there anything you'd like to tell me? Is there anything you'd like to tell me? You just gotta make it all, I'm telling you, you always make your money back, but you gotta know, you gotta stay in. Oh my god. Do you know why I'm here? Do you know why I'm here? Nothing. They must have used all their energy. They must have used all their energy on that. can't believe we haven't gotten a picture of this ghost or ghosts there's like four there's like f like 18 ghosts in this fucking house not one of them will show themselves not one <laughs> not even one all, the only option I have is to keep hassling them. There's like... <laughs> what was that? I got it. That's extraordinary audio. We ethics. captured it that time. We got it that time. I'm going to ask him using the thing. Is there anything you'd like to tell me? Is there anything you'd like to tell me? Nothing to fucking say now, though. Talk about, like, casino. And then doesn't have anything to say when I ask him.
Can you tell me your name? What's your name, man? I just want to know what the name of the old man that's addicted to gambling is. Can you tell me your name? I'm so glad Tomato came back to this riveting game. I always do read the cancelled messages. Dude, I like this game. I think this game is fun. It's not as fast paced as a lot of other like haunted house games, but I like it. I just wish I could get a picture of this damn ghost. I'm hoping that counted as something. That, well, that counted as something. Wow, that's great audio evidence. Yeah, I know, Conrad. Why are you here? Come on, let's get something about the grill. Why are you here? I mean, we have a load of audio evidence, like a load of it. It's just no visual and not many responses to things I've asked. But I don't think that's gonna change. Hmm. The most I can do is just like attempt to agitate by piano. <laughs> agitate by piano, activate. Initiate agitation procedure. Do ghosts physically appear? They can. It's just somewhat rare depending on the ghost. I do think this game follows like ghost type rules. Like the wiki said in the game. Where like some ghosts are just more prone to showing themselves than others. And this one is not prone to showing itself. Is there anything you'd like to tell me? Is there anything you'd like to tell me? Yeah, I did say I hate you. I said I hate you. That was, I just want to make that clear. I want you to... Okay, uh... Can you tell me your name? What's your name? Can you tell me your name? I get anything out of that? Okay... There's no chimes in this house. I don't know why there's always chimes. Old man update, no old man present. I have an idea. I just hear an old man. What if, okay. I stand back facing away from where the old man would appear if he was in the kitchen. I watch this way. And then the second I hear a noise, I spin around, I take a picture. Okay, I don't know if I have the patience for this. Alright, that's two times I've turned around, nothing has changed because I've been waiting about five seconds at a time. Third time now that I've done the same fucking thing. Alright, chat. Here's what we do instead. I'm going to the bathroom. You're going to watch for the ghost. I'll be right back.
boring, says the chat member. Boring. Boring, dude. You're right, man. We gotta move. Hey, no, there's no undead coming out from that fucking kitchen. Despite the fact that the notes clearly swear an elderly man has been spotted in that kitchen many a time. You know, I think it's time that we, uh, wrap it up in this place, Chet. I don't think, uh, I don't think we're gonna be finding any pictures of that. I'm, I don't think we're gonna be finding any pictures of ghosts in general. Ah, fucking damn it. It's so, it takes so long to swap tools. I'll keep that as audio evidence. Oh, I got it anyways. Uh, we already got that bite, I guess. Yeah. Alright. I'm gonna do one more lap around the building. And then we're leaving. Keep lights off. It's gonna use night vision. Last chance. What is your name? Can you tell me your name? Last chance. Can you tell me your name? That was nothing. Okay, these guys, I fucking hate these guys. I'm done with this place. I... You gotta be fucking kidding me. Really? Really? Place is haunted as all hell. Can't get a picture of one. Can't get a picture of one ghost. In this shithole. The most haunted fucking house. I've ever seen in all my days. Not one picture of a ghost moving around. Maybe that's just because that's the kind of ghost it is. Who knows? Audio. Active. All the time. They won't stop making audio sounds. Oh, I didn't do that. What's your name? Can you tell me your name? What's your name? What's your name? Can you tell me your name? Yeah, it's Poopy Pants. Go fuck yourself. Get out of here. I, I'm getting out of here. We're leaving. All right. <laughs> okay. I've had enough and we're leaving. <laughs> we're done here. These people are fucking treating me like a fool. I'm done. We're going to the next place. The walk of shame. Not one fucking picture. Man. Conrad Stevenson goes back to his place ashamed. Uh, uh, like, literally owned and pranked by ghouls. Never to show his face again on that part of town. Still didn't go that bad, it's just... Let's just, let's consult the evidence. All right, we still have evidence. They can't take that from me. Perpetual presence. What the fuck does that, what the hell does that even mean? Hang on, turn up the volume. Did that fucking thing just say cringe? Did that just say cringe? Did that thing just say cringe? Did the perpetual presence of Polk Street just call me cringe? No. Slow it down. Slow it down one more time. Green spinach is what Chad's saying. There's something else 
There's something else in the middle. I'm gonna. Uh, this needs to be slowed down even more. What is that? Definitely cringe, bitch. <laughs> that is not it. No, that's not what they're saying. They do not call me a cringe bitch. <laughs> no. They might be saying cringe bitch. They might, be, they might be saying cringe bitch. Little boy blue. Oh wait, I need to check the other stuff for Do I have anything else for perpetual? I have more for perpetual presence. Okay, this will answer if it was cringe bitch. Casino. Casino guy did not call me a cringe bitch. You guys are hearing something wrong then. New casino. New casino. You gotta put it you gotta put it all in our red on that roulette table, alright? <laughs> he isn't saying Gussie. He's not saying Gussino either. Ban those people for life. Hang on. Why? Memorial. Why? The and then I don't, and then it kind of falls off for me. The, the what? My, n no. The boredom? Why Vaporeon? You think that like his Vaporeon fucking like 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 knocked over something in his house and ruined it? Yeah, I don't think turning this down to one quarter speed is going to change anything. Perpetual presence is uh, kind of pissing me off. Uh, hang on, I'm gonna check it. We might have one more track for this. We have one more. I wish you were here. I wish you were here. What is that? What he just said? I wish you were here. I wish you were here. Oh. Well, that one's easy enough. Oh. Yeah, well, no one fucking asked. All right, perpetual presence. I mean, all I know is I was asking you all day for you to actually tell me things about yourself. You wouldn't say anything. All right, so I don't give two shits. I don't fucking care. Uh, let's go hang out with little boy blue. What's that? You were happy before. What did he just say? You were happier before. You were heavier before. You were that's what I definitely am hearing. You were heavier before. Happier. You were happier before. Happy we were happier before. This boy's calling me heavy. I swear to God, I'll take him down. 
Oh no, back to the shadowy screamer. <laughs> Do you like the current family living here? I live here. These, it, there is not a single fucking way that's the same little boy blue from the first couple sound bites. That is a different ghost, motherfucker. Are you live here? Do you like the current family living here? I live here. Smile. <laughs> I live here. Oh, wait, hang on. That's the real bait. I live here. I live here. And I live here. It sounds like a sound bite of Abe from Abe's Odyssey saying something. You know what I mean? Sounds like Abe saying something. I live here. I live here. I live here. And then, like, ripping a huge fart into the microphone. You know what I mean? Like, just like Abe would do in Odd World. I live here. And then, like, you know, it just moves on with its life. <laughs> we haven't heard anything channeling. That's good. <laughs> that's, that's good. We want to keep that up. Can you tell me your name? What's yours? Oh, yeah, he deflected this one. I didn't get his fucking name because he deflected it. What's yours? What's yours? This kid actually fucking, who cares? No, he said, what's yours? He did not say, no chat, we had the subtitle, remember? The EVP ones, we know what they said. Cause the subtitle said at the bottom, uh, what's yours? The EVP ones show us the subtitles, like live. So he said, he said, what's yours? He deflected me. Back to the shadowy screamer. Yeah, I just don't care about the shadowy screamer is the problem. I just don't care about it. Not much uh, whatsoever regarding uh, New Eidolon's Polk Street. M pretty much just a pretty much just a lame-o. Did the slime site just make a farting sound as it gave me more money? Did I mishear that? I thought it made like a fucking really like airy kind of. What is that sound? Is there something outside attacking me? I don't like that. Well, uh. There were spooky sounds. <laughs> I don't have any new mail. I think they want me to go back to Pollock Street. Why can I not investigate the church? Let me investigate the church. Why? I don't need to be invited. I've got everything I need. Dude, I, I have everything I need. I know for a fact that I need to investigate the church because unsettled souls are in the graveyard. Pierre is a reason to stay, but Red Eyes is a shadow. Uh, Mr. S was the groundskeeper before a spirit of a small child in a crypt ri uh, ripped him in half and killed him. We have everything we need. We should go to the church. I've not been invited to go to this location. Chad, we can't just go to the church on Spruce Street. That'd be illegal. Like, we have to be invited. That's the problem. Break in. I don't think you can. Which is a shame because that place is totally infested by actual devils. You think if we go back to Polk Street, they would, like... You know. You know. You think they'd, like be more like awake that day the ghosts to like spook me because it's that or i go back to evergreen but polk street was the one i was missing things on oh here we go wait bro there was never a ghost to take a camera of. 
or it'd be showing an out of thing. There was never a picture to take. I guess? Take a camera of? Yeah, I don't talk so good since the gas leak in the Polk Street house. I oh, I ain't so good at talking no more since the gas leak. Hmm. I don't know why this picture seems to want me to take a photo of a jar. <laughs> take a picture of that jar there. The Lorentz have a bit of contrast within their family about their home being haunted. It's interesting that Max is not convinced, yet the rest of his family is concerned. He also didn't provide any information. I'm oh. sure I'll be able to skip. Now if we're lucky, if we dash in really quickly, the ghost won't realize I'm here. Damn it. Shit. I gotta get in here and take pictures of them before they all notice I'm here. Nothing matters but the picture. Nothing matters but the clout. Brother, the ghosts were calling you a cringe bitch. <laughs> shut up. Shut up. I'm gonna get the shot. I'm gonna get the shot. Shut the fuck up. I'm not owned. I'm not owned and I'm gonna get the picture. These ghosts are gonna show themselves. They're gonna get a ton of XP. Any minute now. I'm gonna get this. This is so embarrassing. Oh, look who's back. I'll show you all. I'll show you all. You'll all see what happens when you push me around. This is so sad. I'm not a cringe bitch. I'm not a cringe bitch, guys. I'm not a cringe bitch. I'm not. <laughs> I'm fucking not. I've been playing this, I've been on stream for four and a half hours. Damn, this game actually like fucking devoured my time. I didn't realize I've been playing for so long. I feel like I've been playing for like an hour and a half. I just want a picture of this fucking ghost. But I feel like you don't get a picture of the ghost without like doing the temperature stuff first, if that makes sense, which means I have to do that again. I can't watch a cringe bitch. Sorry to me. Bah. Oh. Based, man. <laughs> That's a huge W, man. That's true. I wouldn't watch me either. No one said that? That's actually like kind of like a wholesome twist where you say that no one said that mean thing about me. To like, you know. No, but they did. They did. They said that thing. <laughs> I said. <laughs> yeah, people are in the chat taking credit. It's fucking cold right here. 69.4 degrees, three nothing degrees. Nothing paranormal about these temperatures. Okay, readings. never mind. There's nothing paranormal about them.
shield. I need to like, I basically need to like walk along all the edges of every room in order to actually confirm the temperature. No ghosts. No ghosts. No creatures. No fucking anything. Turn on the sink. You can't just- I, I'm not, I can't turn on the sink. You think I haven't thought about doing something obnoxious that would force the ghost into action? You think I didn't think of that? Of course I did. Thought of everything like that. We have a low temperature situation here in the basement. I think we got something, folks. Let's stay focused. I lost it. It's gone. The low temperature situation is completely gone. It's gone. Basements are cold. It's a basement. You saw the thing! Don't act like an idiot. You saw the- you saw it go down and went down to like negative 12 Fahrenheit. Look at that! Hmm, these temp readings are unusual. Look at that! Negative 45! It's amazing I'm even able to survive in this climate. This room is unbelievably cold. It's almost baffling how cold it is. Negative 8,000 degrees. Kelvin. It's down there, man. It's really down there. Oh my god. 69 degrees. Nothing paranormal about these temperatures. Then why are you acting like it needs to be investigated? We've already confirmed there's some weird temperatures. Why is- why did you even check that one? Conrad. Conrad. You cringe bitch. You need to stay focused on the low temperature. They're laughing at us, Conrad. Something is going on we here. We get it. These temperature readings are Next definitely one. paranormal. We're just trying to lure them out. I feel like doing this first gets us better results. That's the only reason I'm doing it. Did I have something here for a second? Did I just see like purple slime over there? I saw something. I thought I saw something. I saw like some weird lighting in the corner. Wig me out. Oh. Oh my god. Oh my freaking god. We're picking up something. Looks like this is a normal EMF oh. reading. Whatever. Huh. 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 You'll all see. You're all gonna see. It's only a matter of time until this ghost has to cook dinner. And then I got him. I got him right where I freaking want him. Let him cook. We should let him cook. That we should. I, for one, would love to let them cook. That'd be great if they could cook. Any gamers? Do you like the current family living here? I don't know why I asked this. I already asked this of them. Do you like the current family living here?
The ghost is probably busy. What the hell is that thing? Weird sounds. And they're gone. It's almost like the ghost is in the vents. It's almost like maybe there's a body in the vents or something. Something weird. There's a guide for this house, which is pretty neat. You're telling me I have, I have to follow a, 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 like a freaking guide? No, I'm not doing that. I'm gonna catch it. Whoa, 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 wee, whoa, woo, whoa. Now go cook something in the kitchen. I don't care about that. They're just so fucking old. They don't want to. This item is a valuable piece of information that'll be added to the archival database. Huh. I thought we didn't have anything on the ground that we could miss. But now I'm starting to think. Maybe that was what we needed all along. Return the picture or suffer my curse. Fucking try to stop me. Alright, I'm not like... I, I, I swear... You'll have, to, you'll have to send a lot to take me down. I'm afraid- uh, Tomato, I think you might have to do actual investigative work. I've done that already, though. I did all that. I've already done the research. The place is haunted. Full stop. That's the research. I did it. I don't need to do that again. I already solved it. Now why in the hell would I need to do actual research when I already know that? Is it though? You'll see. I don't know why I'm checking the closets. But you'll see. Because when I turn this corner right now, there's going to be an old man cooking in the kitchen. God fucking damn it. Why? Why is this happening to me? Maybe if I turn on the lights in the kitchen, you know what I mean? Yeah, I'm not interested in just doing the same level again. I was hoping that maybe the ghost would, like, show themselves on a second run a little faster. But it seems like we may, in fact... Did I not just investigate this area before? Oh, wait, I guess now I'm looking at the chair. Looks like this is a normal EMF reading. Chairs naturally have a lot of EMF potential within them. It's normal. It's normal, man. There's nothing weird about that. Come on. Cook something! All right. And it's shit like that that pisses me off the most. What's your Can name? You tell me your name. Can you tell me your name? Yeah, cringe bitch. 
All right, we're leaving. We're leaving. <laughs> we're done. Let me leave. They won't even let me leave. I haven't got the car keys. XP. All right, chat. I, the real reason is I just—it's been—it's been long enough, and I'm still in pain. I'm still in abdominal distress, so I don't want to go any longer. I do not want to go any longer. So I'm gonna wrap up, but I did have fun. I'll be back tomorrow. Uh Okay. Bye, cringe bitch. I, I, I'm not. I'm not. All right, I'll see you all tomorrow for another stream. Keep an eye out. Unless I get horribly sick, because my whole family is currently horribly sick. So, uh... Yeah, we'll have to see how that plays out. Hopefully, I don't get horribly sick on top of everything else. All right, see you all tomorrow. Thanks for giving subs and donations and bits. I appreciate it. Uh, stream will be at the usual time tomorrow, 3 p.m.-ish. So I'll see you then. Have a good rest of your night. Goodbye.